let me introduce myself to you. My name is Muhammad and I will tell you about my God. My God have 99 names and this is all what I know about him. No more questions is allowed. And don't question those names. And don't understand them. And who cares if you understand them or not? I'm coming after you. Praise be to Allah. Takbir. Peace of Christ to all of you. This is what the Muslims, they say to us about their God. They know nothing about their God. Nothing. Zero. I searched all over the internet to show you something useful. Maybe a Muslim can give us something smarter. I get this. Don't be disappointed. This is how the Muslims and what they say about their God. Listen and laugh. Beautiful names belong only to Allah, so call on Him with them. What is more important than knowing who is Allah? The first pillar of Iman is Al Imanu Billah. And who is Allah? Our only source of knowledge with regards to Allah is His names and attributes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that, did you hear it? Did you hear it? The only source, the only thing they knew about their God is the names. Did, did you hear it? Is it me who said that? I did not. The only thing they know about their God is his names. So what do you know about him? His names. So say it again. Of Iman is Al Imanu Billah. And who is Allah? Our only source of knowledge with regards to Allah is His names and attributes. His, on, his only source of knowledge of who is Allah is His names and attributes. Not me who said that. This is what they said. If we go to the names, you will die laughing. Where is the knowledge about Allah? Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Those are words used in the prayer of the Christian in Aramaic. The mercy, the merciful. Al Malik, Allah is a king. This is what you know about Allah. He is Al Quddus, okay, the absolute pure. Well, this is what the Quran says about Jesus in chapter 19, verse number 19. As Salam, well, he is the peace, but he is not. He killed everybody in his way. Al Mu'min, Allah is a believer. Have you ever heard of a, a you know, a, a, you see a translation even false? It says the one who gave Iman and security. That's false. Because simply here they are putting the, the, the uh, like sukun on the top of the wow. They keep make it al. Uh, it, it says al mu'min. So how you say like as if you are saying al mu'min or the or the one uh, who is uh, uh, yeah like is giving you security etc. But now he, this is he he's al mu'min. He is the one who believe. He believe in what? If you go in the Quran, you will see Allah. He taking shahada. Allah, he witnessed that he is Allah, which is very funny. <clears throat> so what the Muslims knew about Allah is nothing but fictions. And by the way, uh, uh, this is something not done really by me. Uh, there is a, a, a Christian uh, priest he's a, from the Coptic church. His name is Father Zakaria. Uh, he got them busted with the names and he, they found that those names are not true. More than 80% of them do not exist. If you go to chapter uh, 3, verse number 18, it says that Allah, he witness that there is no God but he. This is Al-Mu'min. Allah, he is a believer that he is God. Welcome to Islam. Right? Okay, let us continue with the names. Because this is the only thing the Muslim they knew about their God. Remember, it's not me who said that. We played for you the Muslim video. Al-Muhaymin. The guardian, the observer, what is that? What, what does that mean? Al Aziz, the Almighty, but you, you call him Almighty in other world, why you call him Almighty twice, three times, four times, five times? Al Jabbar, Al Jabbar is an ugly word, by the way. Al Jabbar always used in Arabic for those, for the one who is very powerful, but he is unjust. Unjust. Someone he is bad. You know, he is powerful, but he is bad. So, when we say Jabbar, <clears throat> just to show you how the Quran get the Muslim busted. Chapter 5, verse number 22. 
when Musa says he asked his people to go and attack uh, uh, the, the Muslim Musa, not our Musa, uh, to attack the, the Holy Land. They said to him, Inna fiha qawman jabbareen. Mighty people who they are aggressive, ugly. Hmm? And then in chapter 11, verse number 59, it's make it clear that those who they are the bad ones is, is you know, uh, 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 he's the one is a Jabbar. Now read it. They translate it as a, 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 a powerful transgressor. This is what Jabbar is. So how Allah you call him, how you call him Jabbar? Because he is the devil. Powerful, aggressive, transgressor against God. All right, continue. Al-Mutakabbir. <clears throat> Mutakabbir actually is not supreme, is not majestic. This is false translation. In Arabic, if we, okay, you know what? We will use the same word in the Quran. Just look at them busted in their translation. I will search for the word Mutakabbir in the Quran. Let us see. Chapter 7, verse number 13, it says Shaitan, he was a mutakabbir. Read it. Allah, he said to Shaitan, Go down, you are arrogant. The Muslim, they translate the word mutakabbir as arrogant. Allah is arrogant. But if we go in their page, they translate the same word as supreme majestic. Do you see how they lie? How this is a name was given to Shaitan. And how it is a name given to Allah. And how they do translate it as, you see, he is a person who is arrogant. Get out of here, get down. Allah is ordering Shaitan to go down. And then this is the same name was given to, 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 uh, to the God of Islam. We did not even start yet. Mutakabbir, what a shame. How you can how you call your God Mutakabbir? Huh? In chapter 16, verse number 29, it says that the one who is Mutakabbir, he will go to hell. Read it. Mutakabbir is arrogant, evil person. Fathulu abwaba jahannama khalidina fiha. Who? Mathwal Mutakabbirin. This is the place for Mutakabbirin, the one who is Mutakabbir. So how do you call Allah Mutakabbir? This is what they know about Allah. He's a devil. Right? <clears throat> and the funny, the Muslim, they say to Allah, Takbir. <laughs> takbir. Okay. Take a beer. So if we go over the names, we will find that each name of those are disaster. Now number 11, Al-Khaliq, which means the creator. Okay, uh, prove it. They gave him a name, the creator. Okay, but Allah, he could not create anything. And the proof Muhammad, you see, uh, the Messiah, according to the Quran, he created from the mud, the bird. The Muslim, they say, that Allah, he gave Isa the leave. Okay, why Allah did not give the same leave to Muhammad, to Musa, to all? How come only this leave is given to Isa? I can claim now, I am the one who gave Isa the leave. Hey, Isa, you cannot do anything, by the way. It's me who gave you the power. Yeah, yeah, it's me. I am uh, Al-Khaliq. I mean, this is how silly this religion. They know nothing about their God. They said he is Mutakabbir. They said he is Al-Khaliq. They said he is uh, arrogant. They say he is a stupid. I mean, you are giving him even names, which is an insult to God. Right? So if we go over over over, over uh, <coughs> Al Bari, the originator, you just said he is the uh, the creator. So what do you mean he is the originator? Isn't it funny? Is is the is the creator is different from the originator? Ah, it's stupid. You uh, the Al Musawir actually the Musawir is not the fashioner. It is the one who is a photographer. The Muslim, they say he is the one who fashion things. Okay, but you just said he is originator and you just said he is a creator. So this is the same thing. Why are you repeating the same thing? If this is what is meant. 
Al Ghaffar is all forgiving. No, Allah is not all forgiving. No, we, no, we can prove it. Isn't it Allah? He said to you, go and kill them so Allah will heal the hate in the chest of the Muslims. <clears throat> where is the where is the he where is the one who forgive? Huh? قاتلوهم يعذبهم الله بأيديكم kill them Allah killed them but he punished them by your hands he tortured them by your heart, hands the fact the fact here the word punish is not true it says in Arabic يعذبهم which means he tortured them by your hands cover them with shame and that will that when you when you torture them that will heal the breast of the believer so where is Allah the the forgiven forgiving person Jesus in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. Do you know what they were doing? They were killing him. Literally. Not only killing him, they were crucifying him. Which means they are torturing him slowly. So, Christ in the cross, he is the forgiver. He said, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. Allah, they call him forgiver, but look at him. Fight them, fight them here to kill them, not fight them by like uh, by sandals. Uh, the word here is قاتلوهم, which means coming from the word قتل wa قاتل. قتل means kill. So fight to kill them, for Allah will torture them, not punish them. If we change the translator, you will see translation will change. Even though all of them they are Muslims, let us try different translation. Translation. No, here it says here punish them. Hold on, let us uh, let us find different one. Until we find somebody have little dignity or honesty, which is very rare to find. Huh, see, here the, the word punish them, uh, the change. Allah will determine them from uh, them at your hands. Do you see it? Do you see it? What is Allah the all forgiving? In different even verse in the Quran, it says that Allah He enjoy cutting the fingertips of the enemies. Cutting what? Fingertips. You how you can you know do you do you cut their fingers when they are alive, or after they die? Either way, proving to us that you are sick and mentally ill. Read it. Will cast terror into their heart of those who disbelieve. So submit them above the neck. And submit of them every fingertip. Do you see it? So they call him in the names. Allah is all merciful, but Allah is the all merciful. He enjoyed torturing you, cutting your fingers, cutting your, you know, not only that. Muhammad himself, he enjoyed torture. As an example, Muhammad, he loved to put nails in your eyes. If we go in the hadith, let us see if we can find this hadith. Let us see. Here we go. This is a story about a bunch of people who converted to Islam. They gave their camel to Muhammad and they decide to run away with their camel. And they knew there is no way they can, they can take their camel. So they killed the shepherd and they run away. Now, some might say, okay, well, they are killers. They should be punished. Let us say, okay, no problem. A person who killed, kill him. No problem. But look what Muhammad did. So those people, they killed the shepherd and drove away the camel. And this is the same hadith, by the way, when, Al when Allah Prophet, he ordered them to drink the milk and the urine of the camel. Yeah, very nice uh, prescription. They try it. You know, it's very healthy for Corona too. Uh, it's called Corona milk urine. urine. Uh, so here, those people, they killed the shepherd and drove away the camel. When the news reached the Prophet, he sent some people in their pursuit. When they were uh, uh, like brought to him, he cut their hands and feet and their eyes were branded with hated pieces of iron. Do you see the All-Merciful? Do you see the All-Merciful? Very merciful. I mean, who can beat Muhammad in mercy? 
You see, actually, this is uh, according to the Quran. This is against the Quran because the Quran says you only cut their hand and their feet from opposite direction. More merciful. Muhammad, he enjoyed more than the Quran. He added more things. We put nails in their eyes. He's bored. And not only that, actually, that uh, different hadith he said to them, to you, he let them die under the sun because they did not die right away. They are bleeding. Read it here. You see, this is the same hadith. And it's Sahih, all of it is Sahih. After he branded their eyes, after he put the nails inside, and the nails, he put it in the fire first. It, not only he put the nails in the eyes, no, no, no. It had to be or go in the fire first. So he cut off their hand and their feet. Imagine there's a human being. We cut off his both hands, his both feet, and we crucify him. And now we are putting nails in his eyes. I mean, this is a lot of mercy. We cannot deny that. So now what we learn about Allah, that Allah is merciful. I mean, what do you want more than this? So what Muslims knows about Allah? Nothing. You know, anyone can do that. I can do that too. Watch any horror movie, you will see that this is Allah then. If this is how you recognize Allah, then Allah is a, you know, anyone is a criminal. Al-Qahar. Qahari, the one who forced you to do things. Why Allah want to do that? This is against justice. The giver. Okay, Allah, Allah, Allah is the giver. I want to see how that happened. So now my computer and my microphone and my brain is a gift from Allah to spank him. I mean, do you see how the giver is working? Well, they might say, okay, well, you know, in Christianity, uh, God is the one who gave us everything, but no, in Christianity, God, he gave us everything and he said that he allowed the sun to raise over the bad and the good because there is judgment day to come. In Islam, it says that everything is a destiny. So if I say something, it is Allah who made me say it. This is why it says here that he is the subdued, or he, is the, he is the one who subdued you to do what as you wish. If you go in the hadith, you see, we're trying to connect the dot for you so you can understand and learn how we do things according to Islam, how we uh, act. Like, you know, to say in the morning, I woke up, I drank my coffee, hmm. halal coffee, have camera you in it, and uh, I went out in my yard, I walked in the street for like uh, 10, 20 minutes. And then I came back and I did the live podcast. Who is the one who made me do that? Allah. How we can prove that? Read, read carefully with me. Uh, let us start with this. Which more, which more can identify God for us more than this if Allah is God? Muhammad, he claimed that when you do any kind of illegal sexual activities it is predetermined by allah that you will do it and it's a must to do abu huraira huraira mean like the, you know hira i mean a cat huraira is like sporting your cat like 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 you say you are the father of uh, uh muhammad you call him mimi you know yeah, like mimi hijab so abu huraira the father of the cats reported that Allah apostle saying verily Allah has fixed very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit now, what what necessity do you see it so when you do adultery anything anything you do in your life in Islam it is it is a necessity to commit Especially when it's come to sin, like is me talking against Allah now is a sin? According to Muslim, yes, for sure. This is the biggest sin, way bigger than adultery. Allah is the one who made me do it in necessity to commit. Do you see the stupidity? That make him shaitan. Shaitan, if this is the truth, if the one who uh, making me commit adultery, is Allah and it's a necessity to commit that means Allah is shaitan you see you have no choice do you have a choice because this is not my translation and this is their hadith and this is sahih this is sahih Muslim hadith number two six five seven B don't forget the B 
It's like one cent in the top of the price. B. Hmm? So it's a necessity to do as Allah he prescribed for you. As you see, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. It's a fixed portion. It's not up to you to make it less or more. When a Muslim woman, she called the sheikh in the in Egyptian TV, and she said to him, I am now 30 years old, and I'm afraid I will not be able to get married, you know. The, the sheikh, he said to her, hey, my daughter, don't worry. The prophet said is written in every vagina the name of the one who will do boom, boom to it. You believe it? Maktubun ala kulli farjin ismuna kihihi. It's written in every vagina the name of the one will effort. So he's saying to us, don't worry. If Allah, he wrote in your vagina the names of those who will sleep with you, they will do it. We believe it. So now if we go to a woman, she is a prostitute, she will find the yellow pages there. I mean, how many names written there? Ahmad, Muhammad, Abdullah, Muhammad, Hassan, 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 I don't know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Obama, Obama, and Trump, and, uh, you know, uh, George Bush, and now uh, you know, uh, Mimi and uh, Fufu, and uh, written in the vagina the names of the one who will do boom boom to it. But don't worry, sister. Don't worry, daughter. It's written there. It's written there. And the, and I imagine the girl she opened her like she took off her panty and she started looking at the names to see if she can find the husband. Is is he is his name written there? It's not like it's written by a secret uh, ink. You know, things can happen. It can happen. It's possible. It's possible. Check it out. Check it out. If you are a female, excuse me. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me get the hadith so the Muslim will not say, oh, man, he's making things up. Where he get this from? You know them. We show it in the screen and still they say, they say he's a liar. It doesn't say that. Uh, All right, and for sure they will say to you, this is not a true hadith, you know, but the sheikh in the TV, he use it, but it's not true. Hmm. Um, okay. Actually, I found the reference, but it's Google Books. I want to use something we can translate. Um, Actually, I found the video. Hold on. I think I found the video. I found the video. I was searching. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. I found the video, guys. This is the video. I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to post the link for you. Where it says, it's written. The she this, is a, this is a Muslim Sheikh Sunni. Because the Muslim, they will say, eh, this is, you know, here we go. This is your sheikh. And even the title of the video, Kullu farjin maktubun alayhi ismu nakihihi. Every vagina is written the name of those who will effort. Excuse my language. Let me post the link for you. It's in, it's in Arabic. But those who speak Arabic, you know. I did not listen to it, by the way. But this is a video so long, long time ago. Um... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that I found the video. Here we go. So what they knew about Allah? Nothing. Guys, why we are only 973? Where is the rest? Where is your kids? Where is your family? I mean, come on. We are Muslims. Each one of us have four wives, 70 kids. Let me invite my cousins. Where is everybody? So what the Muslim know about Allah? We heard them saying they know nothing except those names, but those names is, are stupid and they are bad. And they are disgusting. Look, they just said he is... He, okay, a, a second ago you said he is the giver. Huh? Don't you, Muslim, you say he is the giver? Just to show you the stupidity, what those names are about. 
the originator, the fashioner, uh, uh, forgive us, we, we prove that those all is, uh, okay. Now he is saying he is Al-Wahhab, the one who give gifts, okay. But you told us that already. Al-Raziq, he is the provider, but isn't it the same as the giver? Al-Fattah, Allah is Al-Fattah, what does that mean? He is an opener, champagne opener. And look, they put two meaning here: the, the opener and the judge. How he can be? How how Al Fatah is, is the judge? Al Alim, Allah is Al Alim, all knowing. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is alone is a, is a joke. Allah is all knowing. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Allah is all knowing. Let me show you how Allah He knew a lot. I mean, you will go crazy when you see how much Allah he knew. I would drive you literally crazy. Let us see how much Allah he knew. Hold on, give me a second, please. <clears throat> Learn from the knowledge of Allah. All right. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. So the Muslim, they will not say I'm making things up and, you know, etc. You know, they doesn't say that, uh, you know, you know them. We show it in the screen and it, it still they say it doesn't say that. All right. So chapter 86, we will go read it from interpretation from verse number one all the way to seven and eight and nine. But the one we will read is number six and seven. Okay. A human, look from what you are created. Okay, good. Allah tell us from what? So Allah is all knowing, remember. Okay. He is created uh, from the following. And it is he, the originator of the creation. You see, the Muslim, they call Allah the originator. So the originator now is going to tell us how he originate us. Obviously, he knew how, did, how he did it because he did it in his laboratory. <laughs> in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. He is created from water gushing forth. What is that water? Remember, Adam, he was created from mud and water. So this is not about Adam. This is about... The, the the children of Adam, which means sexual fluid, which is orgasm. Do you see it? All right. That comes bursting forth. Obviously, this is orgasm now. It's confirmed, right? It's not only a sexual fluid. It's a sexual fluid bursting forth. Unless your you know orgasm is not, uh, you don't have a good pump. So it's not going to be bursting forth. You need to check it out. Maybe there's a fuse is missing or something. From the man and the women, oh, so this is a fluid, sexual fluid coming from the man and the women, bursting out, will cause the child to, to be to be happy because of both of them? A Muslim might say to you, this is the egg, my friend, it says bursting out, bursting forth, from where? From their private part. The egg is a sexual fluid bursting out. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Uh -huh. I mean, what is left? A smart Muslim, he tried to say to you, oh, this is about the human being, that this is where the sexual fluid come from between the ribs and down all the way to the backbone. My friend, what is left? His feet? This is the human body. I mean, what is left is our feet and our head. <laughs> Actually, I remember once a Muslim, a smart Muslim, he wanted to, you know, the Christian prince, he was always lose, always I lose. So he said to me, let me read for you the most uh, scientific uh, teacher, uh, scientist, his name is Ar-Razi. I said, you want to go to Ar-Razi, are you sure? He said, yeah, we're, we're sure, you know. And they make a video for me, actually, the cowards, and they post it in YouTube. And then uh, I took the video, or their video, and I made a video about it, and I showed him Ar-Razi claim that the sperm of the man is coming from his brain. From where? From his brain. Look at this idiot here. He is calling me liar and I'm showing him in the screen. Look, look, look at this. Do you believe it? I'm showing in the screen and he says liar, custom friends. What a kid. Kids. A bunch of kids. So proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone, there's no loins in the translation in the Arabic, no. 
of the man and the ribs of the women. Now we knew where how Allah He created us. Hmm? One God, I will call you. Do you agree with Ibn Kathir or you don't? I will call you. Do you agree with Ibn Kathir or not? I want your answer. Who is a Muslim here disagree with Ibn Kathir? Who is a Muslim here? He disagree with Ibn Kathir that this is what the Quran meant. <clears throat> Anyone? Mr. One God, how are you? Are you there? I want an answer from you. I want to see if you are serious or not, or you are just a kid. Do you agree with Ibn Kathir or not? Using fake hadith? Okay. Well, take a hike. Guys, this is fake hadith. All the hadith we show on you, it's in their website. Look, sunnah.com, fake hadith. I mean, it's obvious it's fake hadith because it's published and printed and spread by Muslims. So obviously it's fake. I mean, hello. Everything he is saying is fake. It's fake hadith made by the Muslim, published by the Muslim, written by Muslim, translated by Muslims. Obviously it's fake. Thank you very much. Let your dad call me. Don't come alone. Okay. No kids. So, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ and it's coming from the ribs of the man, from the backbone of the man. You know, actually, I don't want to get married because my, I have to be honest now. My backbone hurt. And I think because of that, there's no sperm. That's it. You know, I need to fix the backbone. I will go to a mechanic. Do you know where is the backbone? Hold on, hold on. Just to show you what we are talking about, because some people maybe do not know what is the backbone. Maybe, you never know. Let us find an image. The backbone, brother, the backbone. I will show you where Allah, He consider you coming from. Hmm. And they call him Allah is the all-knowing. Absolutely is all-knowing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's clear. So there is a small bone at the end of uh, 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 what they call it, the spine. At the end of your spine. So Muhammad, he claimed that this is where your sperm coming from. science and the women she have ribs you see so this is the backbone of the man so now let us assume the same picture is for picture for a woman muhammad he claimed that the sperm of the woman come from the location where it is the top of her ribs the location of the necklace here like where your ribs and your your neck they meet this is where a tribe a tribe is specifically a word mean the location of the necklace of the women where the neck and the ribs meet not the ribs itself so Muhammad he claimed that the sperm coming from two direction from the man come from the backbone as you see in the screen and for the women it's coming from the location of a tribe which is the location of the necklace where if a woman she wear a short necklace that necklace will hit the hole down in here that you have a hole you know hole there and your neck down your neck between your ribs that is exactly a tribe so obviously allah he earned the name all-knowing i mean who can beat allah in his knowledge nobody no one i mean we have we have to be honest here we have to admit allah he knew everything now if we go to ibn kathir again Ibn Kathir, he called his prophet to explain this science because this is a very deep science. Biology, my friend. Muhammad is 
very, very specialist in biology. You know? Muhammad, he knew about biology, he knew about kalology, he knew about everything. He is Dr. Muhammad, philosopher Muhammad, you know, everything. Electronic engineer. So, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصَّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ From between the backbone and the ribs. The backbone of the man and ribs of the women. It is a fluid. It is yellow and fine in texture. Okay, hold on. Who said that? Is it Ibn Kathir? No. This is Muhammad. I will go and copy the word in the front of your eyes. Here we go. In English, as it is. I will do it. For the sake of entertainment. Who is the one who says yellow and fine in texture? Muhammad. Ah, it says I cannot find. Oh, there's no way. Hold on. <clears throat> Here we go. Dr. Muhammad he explained the mystery of Bolalzi. Dr. Bolalzi Muhammad. Muhammad, he graduated from the university of uh, Suku Suku. The messenger of Allah. And it's sahih. It is sahih. Oh, boy, it's a fake hadith. It's sahih. It's fake hadith. It's sahih. It's fake hadith. Christian Prince, I told you it's fake hadith. It's sahih. It's fake hadith. But it says there's sahih. Okay, we Arab, especially Arab. When we say it's sahih, it's, it's, yes, it says it's correct, but we mean the opposite. To confuse our enemy. Ah, so you say, you call it correct, but the fact it's not. <laughs> the same as you do with Allah. You call him God. In fact, he's not. I get it. Okay, I understand. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is a thick and white. Is thick and white. Muhammad is expert. He have a sperm before. Don't say he never have a sperm. He did have at least once. And the women water is a thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. We, 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 we. This is, this is a pure science. We have to admit. How Muhammad he knew this? Hmm? How? How? Hold on, hold on. I mean, we need something more, you know. Uh, you know, the word of Prophet Muhammad is like music in my ear. We have to admit. Hmm? Maybe this one will be good. I don't know. No, this is uh, uh, this uh, this music is not sexual. I want to find something sexual because we are talking about sexual orgasm. Uh, to see this one, so you know. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Da -da -da. You come first, she come first, the baby is identified. Unbelievable. How the prophet he knew this? So we are going to dance salsa, and then if you have orgasm first, my beautiful wife, the baby will look like you, not like me. Alhamdulillah, not like me. Finally, I'm not afraid that my child will look like me. Not like me. Alhamdulillah, not like me. Beautiful. Very beautiful. How the prophet he knew this if he is not a prophet? I mean, we have to be honest here. 
whatever they say to you about the prophet they hate the prophet they are against the prophet but the prophet he knew what he's talking about it's obvious and this is why you know if uh, i get married i will never uh, excuse my language excuse my language i will never come first i don't want my son to look like me horrible i don't have mirrors in my house actually uh, first time i went to the bathroom i get scared like who is this guy so I, I run out of the house and then I, I, I remember it saw the mirror. It's, you know, it's, it's okay, it's okay. You know, but then I cover it by uh, you know, a newspaper. So if you have, if you come first, you are the one who will decide how the baby look like and his gender. By the way, this is about gender too, not only about look. That's amazing. So what if the women, she never come? Most of women, Muslim women actually never come. And I can prove it, especially the wives of the Prophet. Because Muslim, they do circumcision for women. Let me prove it to you. Hold on. <clears> hmm. <throat> Read the prophet wife what she said when she heard this. <laughs> the prophet wife, she never danced samba with the prophet. She don't even know what does that mean. Beautiful wife of a prophet. She never know what we are talking about. Very horrible. So what happened? What happened? The prophet said, Ummu Salim said, O oh Allah Messenger, Verily Allah is not shy. Sure Allah is not shy. Are you kidding me? Vagina, big boobs, long penis. <laughs> shy? <laughs> it's obvious. It's a pimp. Okay, for telling you the truth, is it essential for a woman to take a bath after she had a wet drain? Look at this woman. Imagine I'm sitting home and a woman, she come to my door. AZB, I want to ask you. Yesterday I saw a wet drain. Can I wash it or not? <laughs> Unbelievable. This is so beautiful. The prophet is the one who tell you if you need to watch your bright private part or not. And you are telling every man in the town that you have a wet dream. Who, who you saw in the dream? Tell us about the dream. No, please tell us the dream. Because we want to know how wet it is. We would love to see how wet is it like little wet, too much wet, heavy wet, flooding wet. Like what do you mean by wet? Raining wet, shower wet. What is it? What do you mean by wet a dream? This is a woman speaking to a prophet of God and Allah is not shy. Are you kidding me? Allah is not shy. Mr. Bean. This is what Muhammad was doing for a living. Women, they come to his house and uh, the prophet, I have a, <clears throat> uh, yesterday, you know, I was dreaming about, <clears throat> you know, and uh, <clears throat> I have uh, like what, uh, <clears throat> and uh, it was very, uh, uh, sister, uh, let me ask you a question. Was it very wet or little wet? Uh, as I remember, it was really, <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, can you please uh, turn off the microphone? Beep. Oh, okay now okay sister in this uh, case sister don't worry uh, 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 uh what was the question muhammad for look if muhammad forgot the question oh no he said yes come on what do you mean forgot the question so the woman she asked if she have a sexual dream if she should wash her private part the prophet he said yes Look how clean he is. But isn't this the same prophet he used to have sex with all his wife without washing? Isn't this the same guy? Why you if if she have a dream she have to wash? What about you? Hmm. Let us see. I don't like to say something, you know, without... Uh, here we go. The Prophet S.A.W. By the way, S.A.W., in case you do not know, you are new here. 
Muhammad because he is a short wave he can capture waves from far away from behind galaxy this is why Allah he sent him Jibreel and Jibreel you know according to the hadith he used to give him Quran in a sound uh, of a bell you know but uh, uh, we don't know how the bell sound became uh, a Quran in Arabic but we can understand based on the science today that, that maybe this is what happened So a woman, uh, thank you, uh, Jibril, for the delivery. So a woman, she have a wet dream. She have to wash. And Muhammad, he was doing boom, boom, a woman after woman. And then at the end, he made a bath. I mean, do you see how clean this guy is? And by the way, this is how you can prevent AIDS, HIV, herpes, uh, all STD disease. And in the top of that, brother, it's very healthy. And it can cause cancer, yes, but it's okay. And the prophet, we need to uh, not to forget that his uh, his uh, his uh, private part is holy. I mean, come on, right? Hmm. So, and here you notice here, uh, uh, if we go back to the hadith, when the woman she said to Muhammad. And by the way, this Ummu Salim, obviously she was a whore, excuse my language. She was the one who bring Muhammad, many women to sleep with him. And she offered herself to sleep with him. And she was his auntie. You believe it? Hmm? Uh, sorry, uh, not, not Ummu Salim. Uh, Ummu, uh, uh, no, this is about Ummu Salama and Ummu Salim. This is a different one. No, sorry. Uh, that is a different woman we are talking about. We will talk about it later. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, uh, supposedly the wife of the prophet is involved and the woman she came at Ummu Salim this woman her name is Ummu Salim she came to the prophet and the wife of the prophet she said do the women have uh, such a thing read carefully so Ummu Salim she said actually let me see uh, I'm trying to identify who is this Ummu Salim to be sure who is she. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there is no details about her. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm trying to link some other information. All right, anyway, so here it says that uh, Ummu Salim said that Allah Messenger, you know, uh, shy to the truth, is it essential to, for women to take a bath after she had a wet dream, uh, you know, she have a sexual discharge? He said yes. If she see notice discharge, she what? If she notice. So this charge we are talking about is something visible, it's outside of the body, it's not something inside the body, which means it is in her private part. On that, Umm Salama, she laughed. <laughs> she said, what? Does the woman get uh, such a thing? <laughs> the Prophet, he looked at her, he said, like, what's wrong with you? Sure, the women, she, uh, you know, get that. Question. Why Umm Salama, the wife of the Prophet, she do not know that the women, she have orgasm? Anyone can tell me? Why she do not, she never experience that women she have sexual discharge and then Muhammad he explained he says yes <laughs> then how does her son resemble her by the way uh, the walad here does not mean son the walad it's mean the the, the the newborn baby so how not the son so the, how the newborn born resemble her so Muhammad he claimed 
that the sexual fluid which come in the vagina is the one who decide the gender and the look of the baby. And this hadith confirmed to us that the wives of Muhammad never have orgasm. Which is obviously, uh, I don't think at that time Muhammad was doing circumcision for his wives. Those are just like Islam started, you know. Uh, obviously, Muhammad he was not able to do something right in the bedroom. Never. If this guy was able to have sex, maybe have orgasm after two seconds from the time he starts like a rabbit. Like before the woman, she take off her panty, the guy is over. Otherwise, you tell me why the wife of the prophet she never she didn't even know like what is that <laughs> what sexual orgasm what is that do the women have that too right this is Ummu Salama Ummu Salama is the wife of the prophet Ummu Salim here they did, they don't identify too much information about uh, who is she. Um, we, we can search more to find out who is she. No. But what is important is Muhammad he claimed that the child is resemble the parents by the one who discharged first. And what the women discharge in her private part, the sexual fluid there, is what will make the baby look like the mother. And this is obviously false Fairuz Sheikh is texting me in Skype but I am not in Skype my friend Mr. Fairuz uh, <clears throat> are you there Mr. Fairuz maybe it is the same Abdul Mr. Fairuz do you agree with this hadith or you don't where is this guy Fairuz Farooz, do you agree with the hadith or not? I'm waiting for your answer, my friend. Who is a Muslim here disagree with his prophet? Anyone? No problem, he want to debate me, but we want to see if he's a kid. Maybe it's the same kid we, we, uh, we blocked. Do you agree? Who agree with his prophet here? Who is a Muslim who agree with his prophet? He would like to call me and tell me what happened. Anyone? And as you see, this is Sahih Bukhari. It's Sahih. This is not a questionable hadith. Are you there, Farooz? What happened to Farooz? He's dead now. Hello, Fairuz, we are Fairuz. Okay, Fairuz is now is not is not there. It's so he's a kid. Don't take him serious. Now, if the Muslim they say the Prophet here was wrong, but this does not mean Allah is wrong. Uh, well, that's mean Muhammad is a fraud. Because how he claims something, he do not know, unless he is a liar. Right? <clears throat> Muslim proper, I agree with hadith when women experience. But this is not the, 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 the question, Mr. Muslim proper. The hadith says that the resemblance of the baby is because of the one who discharged first. This is not the question. We knew that women, they have uh, <laughs> orgasm. I mean, what, what does this have to do with our question? Huh? I did not ask you this question. I asked you, do you agree with your prophet that the orgasm the women she have, which is she see in her private part, is the one will decide the look and the gender of the baby? Do you agree with that? This is the question. And your prophet, he made it clear 
that this is something she see in her private part and even he described it as thin and yellow what do you say mr muslim proper Hey, Sheikh Farouz, I will, I, will, I will take your call, but we want to be sure first you are not a kid. Do you agree with your prophet or not? Do you agree with your prophet or not? If you don't agree, it means you are a kid. So do you agree with your prophet? Say yes or say no. Are you there? I, I am not in Skype yet to pick up your call. Why you don't answer me? Do you agree with your prophet or not? How am I going to pick up your call if I am not in Skype yet? <clears throat> he agrees? Oh, okay. Well, we will see in a second if he agree when I take his call. You will see he is not. He's faking it. They fake things. They are like their prophet. Be my witness. All right, I'm going now in Skype. Give me a second. <coughs> What's your name, my friend, in Skype? <coughs> because I don't see any text from you. Hello? Mr. Farouz, where is your name? What's your name in Skype? I don't see any text from you. <clears throat> where are you, buddy? Uh, uh, look what Muslim proper. A Muslim proper, I think this is the same as Abbas, right? The one who used to call us. He's always driving. Uh, look what he said. If even Prophet, uh, uh, even Muhammad is wrong, you see, that's a good sign. You are not calling him Prophet no more. Is wrong. Reading uh, regarding science that does not make him false prophet, because according to Sahih Hadith, Muhammad admit that he can be wrong sometime in worldly matter. <laughs> but you see, your Prophet already he said that in the Quran. And your prophet, he confirmed that وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى He can be wrong only about things have to do with the, let us say, uh, not important matter. Muhammad claiming knowledge here from where? You see, when you are saying he is wrong, that's not a true statement. Because Muhammad here is saying something, if he is not sure from, why he is saying it? Why they are coming to him to ask him the question? Because he's a prophet. What does that mean? His right of answer is because of his prophethood, not because he's Dr. Muhammad. They are not coming to Dr. Muhammad. They are coming to Prophet Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah. And when Muhammad in the Quran, he said that the sperm of a woman coming from the backbone and he is explained how that backbone work and how the ribs work, saying that the women fluid is yellow and fine in texture so that cannot be a mistake mr farouz where are you i don't see any text from you uh, you are the one who called yourself one god <coughs> all right <coughs> it might be a kid mostly it's a kid <coughs> Answer, answer. Feruz. Hmm. Feruz is not answering. What happened to you, Feruz? 
हेलो 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 फेरूज इज स्निफ इन हिज नोज ही दोनों टॉक टॉक फेरूज टॉक बॉडी हेलो आई हियर हिज बेबी नेक्स्ट टू हिम देयर इज अ बेबी पोटैटो Here we go. I blocked you. We don't have time for kids. I told you he's a kid. <clears throat> hmm. All right. So when uh, when uh, Abbas he said, uh, "Hey Abbas, call me, call me. I will not talk to you for long. We miss talking to you, man. I hope your life and is doing good. Really, I, I you know I I believe you are you are a good person, uh, but you are just deceived. Uh, you see what Abbas he said that the prophet can be wrong. The prophet can be wrong." You see, when the woman she came to ask Muhammad, she asking him as a prophet about if she should wash or not. And Muhammad he confirmed that she should wash, and he explained things about was this washing. But always Muhammad, when he speak about medicine, he claimed that this is from Allah. How we can prove that? I hope Abbas is listening. If you remember the story. Where uh, a person who how the page became so big like this? What I clicked on, mean became a huge. Ah, I click at uh, okay. Hold on, we said uh, all right. Now there's an option in the top. It you click on it by mistake. It became uh, so huge. Uh, <clears throat> If you remember, when a man he came to Muhammad and he told him, "My brother, he is sick," and the man he came again to Muhammad, he told him, "My brother, still he is getting more sick," and this is Sahih Bukhari. All right. This is Sahih Bukhari. Abbas he said the Prophet he said it's possible for him to be wrong, but Muhammad he claimed that all those things about medicine, about health, about uh, 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 things, advice, science, it's from Allah. Read carefully. A man he came to the Prophet and said, "My brother had some stomach in his uh, problem in his stomach." The prophet said, without saying anything, like where the pain, how when it started, do he have a fever? No, Muhammad is Doctor Muhammad. Allah has told him now the answer. That's it. He got the answer from Allah. The prophet said, let him drink honey. What if this guy he have diabetes? He have high sugar, blood sugar? No. The man come back for the second time and he said, prophet, uh, you know he's uh, getting more sick. The prophet said to him again, let him drink honey. The guy he come for the third time and he said, the prophet. <laughs> you know, uh, he's, he's getting more sick. The prophet said, "Give him more honey." And then he returned again. He said, "I have done that." The guy he returned for the fourth time, saying, "I have done that," which means my brother is dying, man. The prophet he got angry and he said, "Allah has told said the truth, but your brother's stomach is told telling a lie." Do you see it, Abbas? Do you see it? Muhammad is not claiming that this is him. Claiming that Allah told him the truth, so your stomach is lying, Abbas, and Allah told the truth. So imagine Abbas, he have corona, God forbid. He go to the doctor, and the doctor tell him they take honey.
Abbas, he go to the doctor again. He says, oh, it's hurting me more. I'm getting more sick. He says, get the honey. Get out of here. Abbas, he come after three days. Well, he's more sick now. Take honey. He came fourth time. Abbas is dying. And then uh, 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 the prophet of Allah, he scream at him. Almost he will kill him. And he said to him, Allah told the truth and your brother's stomach is lying. And then look, the guy, he recovered because they never saw him back. He will never come back. He's not stupid. So he made him drink honey and he was cured. How they knew he was cured? He never came back. So when our friend Abbas here, he's trying to defend his prophet saying, well, the prophet can be wrong. But as you see, when your prophet is claiming that any advice about medicine, and here we are talking about creation, Okay, guys, the Quran says, the Quran said that uh, uh, honey is a cure for everything, but that's mean the Quran is a stupid. Thank you for saying that. Guys, look what Abbas, he said. Abbas, he was trying to fix it. He made it blind. Because there is, there is, there is a benefit from honey for sure, but it cannot be a medicine for everything. The guy, he just told him, I have a pain in the stomach. So how, how Muhammad, he knew that this is the verse about honey is the solution. Isn't it the Quran says, وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Anything the Prophet, he say, you obey, for it is an inspiration from Allah. Hmm? When the Prophet, he order him to drink honey, do he knew that it, he can be wrong? What about he say to him, well, uh, you know, in the Quran it says that uh, honey, is uh, uh, have healing power try it no muhammad was very sure <laughs> and actually if somebody have diabetes you will kill him honey cannot be a good uh, solution for many things actually it can be solution for some stuff it can be the opposite uh, the honey even mentioned in the old testament so what a human being, you know, we can't even give a credit, says, okay, the, the Old Testament uh, said use honey, because there is many nations who never heard of the New Testament or even the Quran, they use honey as medicine. But you cannot use it for everything. So the guy, he came to Muhammad, he said to him, my stomach hurting me, give him honey. That does not make sense. Secondly, as long as you are talking about honey, what kind of God he's, he think that honey is the shit of the bees? Not their food. Have you ever heard of such a God? Allah, he ordered the bees to eat from the fruit of the earth. And from their, from their body, a drink will come. Uh -huh. So they are eating what? They are eating the fruit. They are shitting what? Drink. It's called honey. <laughs> Do you see it? This is God. How this is can be from God? He think that honey is the poop of the bees. So what the bees eat? They eat the fruit. And what happened? There's a drink come from their body. So they ate already. The fact is not true. The honey is the food of the bees. It's not the opposite. What do you say? So now, you know, we were talking about Allah is all-knowing. 
Uh, Allah even don't remember which one he created first, the trees or, or the mountains. Huh? How, how this can be a prophet of God? And as long as we are talking about that chapter, I want Abbas to help me here. I don't know Abbas when the last time he took, he, he drank some black label. It says, from the fruit of the dead palm. Can you answer my question why Jesus was closest about the season of the fig tree? My friend, this is your stupidity because it doesn't say in the verse that Jesus was not knowing this, the season. It says that the tree, it was not its season. So Jesus here, he showed them. This is the example of those who they claim it's not my, my season to give. So the tree who will not give a fruit will be cast and thrown in hellfire. This is the whole purpose of the story. Otherwise, Jesus, the one who in your Quran, who did feed thousands of people, and Allah, he sent him seven wheels in seven sandwiches, if you remember the story. He did not need a fig tree. Even your Quran agree that God himself, he sent to Jesus, Food can feed thousands and thousands. So the story in the Bible, my friend, is not about knowing the season. And nowhere it says that you do not know the season. You are fabricating things now. Shame on you. Oh, it says that it was not the season time. But Jesus, he cursed the tree. And he said, the tree who don't give a fruit will be cut off and thrown in hellfire. Do you think really tree will go in, uh, to hellfire? No. Tree is not a human. God will not judge the trees. So this is an example of those who they are watching around him. What will happen to you? And you, if you question my authority, this is a fig tree, which is impossible to kill. You cut it all the way down. It come back. It's a fig tree. Fig tree is one of the most aggressive trees to kill. Jesus just cursed the tree. The tree died. So Jesus was teaching us, if you don't want to receive the penalty, don't use excuse says it's not my time all time is good to give so this is not about tree my friend you are very just shallow like your prophet in your knowledge now uh, if you go in chapter 16 verse number 67 Allah praising black label whiskey and wine. And he's saying what? He says, Women thamarat in the from the fruits of the palm, the date, and the grape. You make wholesome drink, alcoholic drink. So you can get drunk with it. You see the translation? He is false. It says in Arabic. You take from it a drink to drunk and give you good of it. And Allah, he claimed that this is a sign from him. Change the translator, you will see how the, the meaning change in a miraculous way for the lie in the translation. Read. And from the fruit of the dead palms and grapes. You drive, you drive, strong and drink, uh, between two brackets. This is before the order or formation of alcoholic drink. Oh, what does that mean? This is, uh, this is additional proof that Muhammad was a fraud. Because how later the drink became from the fruit of shaitan, and here the drink, alcohol, is from Allah. It says it clearly, it's a sign from Allah. So you make alcohol drink and you drink from it and even you make money from it as a sign from Allah. Verily, they're indeed a sign for people who have wisdom. Do you see it? Sign. Black label is a sign from Allah. And this is showing us that Muhammad is a fraud because either drinking is good or it's not good. Here it's good. Allah praising drinking, saying this is a sign from Allah. It's a miracle. Do you see it?
between two brackets it says this is before the forbidden of alcoholic drink <laughs> so why he forbid it if it's a sign from Allah and not only that he says Rizqun Hasana good good living you make from it good living you made from it he called it Hasana you know what Hasan mean good Hasan mean you can use it as a beautiful too like Hassan is somebody is handsome for a man. Hasna is someone she is beautiful. Hassan is something good. So Allah described black label as something Hassan. And he called it a good wealth, not a bad wealth. Rizqan Hassana. And he claimed. In, in, in this there is a sign a miracle from Allah so if you see somebody drunk Allah he just made a sign do you see it Allah he just made a sign if you see Abbas he is going to the bar and he come in uh, uh, drunk Don't call me, don't text me if now unless you are a Muslim. If you are a Christian, please don't do that. All right. If we go later in uh, the quality of life, we can take calls from Christians. Anyway, let me log on in Skype. There's nobody. It's just annoying thing. You see, the, the, the real Muslims, they don't dare to call us no more. They knew they are not qualified. They knew. It's a fact. And here, and by the way, in this chapter, Allah is supposedly is, is quoting for you the gift he gave you. One of them is what? Alcohol. It's a gift from Allah. But isn't it him? Allah is the same person who says that alcohol is from shaitan. How, how it's from shaitan and how it's from Allah. Chapter 5 verse number 91, chapter 5 verse number 90, chapter 2 verse number 280, chapter 2 verse 219. How this is can be from God so if we go back to what we were discussing from the beginning that the Muslims they say to us and we played the video for you they said that the only thing they knew about Allah is his names but those names are not accurate they are false Allah is not al-alim for he's not all-knowing he cannot be all-knowing a person who do, who think the baby created from the from from a congealed blood, he is not all knowing. A person who he think that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, he is not all knowing. A person he do not even remember which one he created first, mountains or trees, he cannot be all knowing. Look at those names. Meanless. The honorer, the dishonorer, a Samia. Okay, Allah is all hearing. Let, let us laugh, laugh at this one. Allah is all hearing. Let us see how much Allah is all hearing. We can go, by the way, to the one who gave this honor. When the Jews, sorry, when the Arab, they did beat Muhammad and he was his blood was coming all over from his mouth and his body and he decided to stay for more two, than two weeks or a few weeks out of Mecca, after he came back from Al-Taif so nobody will know about him and then those people in order to dishonor him they send the news to, to, to tell the Arab what they did to him so Muhammad he tried to hide what happened to him so why Allah dishonor him that's mean this happened because Allah he decided to dishonor him isn't it everything happened by the will of Allah And if we go here, 
Allah is all hearing. But isn't it the hadith says that Allah, he come down every night to ask, who is the one is he praying for me? Hmm? If he is all hearing, he do not need to come down every night. I feel sorry for him. I mean, how, I, how far this trip is? If Allah is all hearing, look what Muhammad is saying. So either Muhammad is lying. Abbas, are you there? Is Muhammad lying about this story? Where is Mr. Abbas? Are you there, my friend? Allah is all hearing. So why he descend every night? Every night, the poor guy. Every night. In the third part of the night, Allah, he have to take a taxi. And come down to the third and the, sorry the, the lower heaven in the third part of the night and what you do you say who is uh, who is uh, praying for me who supplicate for me if Allah is all hearing he can hear it from the seven heaven right <clears throat> Isn't he Allah all hearing? Hey, Fairuz, Fairuz, just go. We don't have time for kids. We heard you breathing. We hear we heard the sound next to you, and you are a coward. You don't even dare to talk. Get out of here. We give you a chance. We have no time for kids. If you respect yourself, you even will say hello, you know, but you did not even there. You breathe heavily. You are very nervous. You are just trying to disturb us from spanking your prophet. It's too late. I have my fingers all over his, his bum. Don't you see them? Go take a look. So Allah is all hearing. He's coming down. Why? Can Abbas answer us? Are you there, Abbas? Was Muhammad wrong about this one too? In the same time, Allah, he come down every night, which, which, uh, every third part of the night, which third part of the night? Is, do the earth, is the earth flat and we have only one third part of the night? This is, can be true if, if we believe that the earth is a flat. Correct? Uh, okay, hold on. Abbas saying this, guys. Hmm. Just to show you how, how, uh, how smart they are. It says, this is a figurative speech. It is not literal. This is to encourage Muslim to worship in the middle of the night. Okay, well, the, hold on. I will go with you and say maybe this is true if your prophet did not say he come down because you see he can say Allah he asked every night at the third part of the night <laughs> why is saying he come down what come down have to do with this Allah he can he can say to them okay Allah at the third part of the night he will be listening to you does it say that no you're a prophet, he is saying it clearly, Allah come down in the third part of the night. I thought Allah is always listening. And by the way, why in the third part of the night? Which night? Don't you see there's a mistake here? So if you are saying to me, your prophet is just saying things, making things up, that's making him a liar. Otherwise, you have to tell me the proof that Muhammad, how he knew that Allah in the third part of the night is saying those words and he is listening. Where do you get this from? Guys, Allah is a closer to you than what? So why is why is saying he come down if Allah is a closer to us? <laughs> Guys, if Allah is so close to us, why he is saying he will come down? Explain to me. What come down have to do with the topic then? He's a close to us. He hears us anytime. You see, Jesus said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. Correct, guys? 
You do not need to come down, for God is all hearing, all knowing, all present. Allah is not. So now you are trying to make things not exist there, saying that Allah did not come down. And this is a challenge to Muslim uh, uh, Mr. Abbas. Mr. Abbas, can you find me one Islamic scholar agree with you? Or you are the only scholar from Pakistan who make with this uh, section uh, interpretation? See, when they are in the corner, they say it's a metaphor. Show us. I, I have no problem. Is that fair, guys? Do the Muslim understand this as something metaphorical? No. If yes, I will be happy to see it. No problem. So when you make a statement, you have to prove it. The, th the third part of the night is the jahud. Uh, okay, guys, the third part of the night, he gave it a name now for the prior name. Who cares about the name of the prior? First of all, there's no third part of the night. Secondly, why does Allah, he want you to be up in the third part of the night when you should be sleeping? Didn't he have enough of you praying five times a day? What's wrong with him? And if the five time prayer a day will not do the job, so why you pray them? Because obviously the third part of the night is the important one. <laughs> because Allah only listen at that time. Stupidity. Can Allah hear me all the time or not? If yes, then there is no need for this third part of the night. Already I prayed for him five times a day. I ask him for forgiveness already. I bend my ass for him. And now I have to wake up in the third part of the night for what? Your God Allah is acting like a mosquito. Bzzz, in the third part of the night, I'm coming to you. So now, after praying five times a day, I have to go to rest because I have a life. I have four wives to do boom boom with them. I have to go to work and attack the Christian and the Jews steal their money. And now this Allah will come to me in the third part of the night. So look how they fabricate meaning it's not exist. Where are you guys from? If we ask Abbas, just to show you the intelligence, Abbas, when Allah, he spoke to Musa, did he come down or he was not coming down in the Quran? Are you there, Abbas? When Allah, he come down, when Allah, he spoke to Musa, did he come down to earth or he was not in earth? Any Muslim have an answer? Who is a Muslim have an answer? When Allah, he spoke to Musa, did he came down to earth or he was not on earth? Hmm? Are you searching Google? They don't know. They have no idea what to say. But the Quran is so clear. The Quran said, that Allah, he spoke from the tree. And the tree said, or the voice who came from the tree, I am your God, Allah. I am what? I am your God, Allah. <clears throat> Chapter 28. You can read verses before and verses after as much as you wish. 28, 29, 30. It says, When Moses came to the side of the valley,
in the ground, in the holy ground actually, or blessed ground, he heard voice saying, Moses, I am your God, Allah. But the voice is coming from where? From the tree. So question to the Muslims, the voice of Allah coming from the tree. Guys, forget about those kids when I call me. Those are kids. Either we have somebody, you know, worth it. If he is, a, if somebody is worth three really to call me, post a challenge for me and in my Facebook. All right. I will check your Facebook. I will see that you are real. And then we will take, we don't want to waste our time. They are kids. We call them. They don't answer. So the question is, when the voice came from the tree, was that a real voice of Allah or it was a fake voice of Allah? Was Allah in the tree or it's not in the tree? Who is a Muslim would answer? Anyone? Was Allah. Guys, stop telling me about this guy when I call, they, they debate me, this guy when I call me. They are kids. We open Skype, nobody call. We hang up off of Skype, now they want to call me. Stop doing that. I see them. Don't worry about them. Look like you guys are desperate just to have fun, right? You want them to call, I spank them and you laugh. That's the whole story. Who is a Muslim have an answer? Was Allah in the tree or he was not in the tree? Abbas, are you there? You are the only mature between them, those kids. I did not see the answer of Abbas. Where is the answer? What he said? <clears throat> what Abbas said? Any Muslim knows who was in the tree? <clears throat> Anyone? Who was in the tree? Any Muslim? Can you unblock me? Yeah, but I, I, I will find you. I have 10, 20,000 names in my Skype, my friend. Can you unblock me? Abbas when I call me now, supposedly. Actually, Skype is not logging in. Answer me, Abbas, here. We, when we, uh, you know, we get a chance to call you, I will call you. I'm trying to get in the sky. What is the answer? Was Allah in the tree or yes or no? Say, just say yes or no. Was Allah in the tree? Let me force Skype to shut down so I can log in, maybe. It's possible because he, you know, he was acting like a kid before. I took many calls of him. He never answered anything. He is the mature between kids. This is who is Abbas. You will see. I will, I will, let, I will call him. But, you know, the, the good thing about Abbas, he is not filthy like the rest, you know. Like he says silly stuff, stupid stuff. <clears throat> okay, Abbas, let me try to find you. Abbas, where is Abbas? <clears throat> Okay, hold on. And guys, if you see my, uh, if you see my Skype, you will not believe it. Where is Abbas? 
Okay, Abbas, the name under Agha Abbas. Uh, and you have a picture of uh, uh, the Kaaba. All right? Okay. He call me using that name, my friend. Here we go. There's an, a name. It's called Agha Abbas. I guess this is you. Call me using that name. There's a picture of the Kaaba. I'm waiting for you. <coughs> we will hear Mr. Abbas in a second. <laughs> Abbas, call me. You are not blocked. We have another Muslim here calling. Let us see. Muhammad Rafi. Uh, he hang up. <coughs> Uh, Farouz is calling now. Okay, Farouz is getting strong now. Hey, Farouz. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Talk. Yeah, just like how are you didn't pick up my call. Well, we took your call first time. You did not answer, so we thought maybe you are joking. So, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Farouz? First, expose your lies, okay? Okay. You are using, you are using fake hadith. Which one is that fake hadith? Is which one? Which one? No, which one is fake hadith? Please, if you if you don't mind, help me. Which one of the hadith I use? It was fake. No, listen, listen to me first. I'm listening, uh, listening. No, no, I'm listening, I brother. I'm listening, brother. I'm listening. Which hadith I said it was fake because you just said something. You need to prove it. I'm giving you a chance to talk to me. You know, there's long line of Abdul, they want to call me too. So I need you, you to help me because maybe there's a fake hadith and maybe I do not know. And you are, you are the Ustad, you are the Sheikh, you are the one who knows. We do not know, we want to learn from you. So which hadith I showed in the screen was fake? Listen, listen to me first of all. I'm listening, listening to you. This is the problem. I'm listening to you, but you are not listening to me. Which hadith I showed in the screen was fake hadith. Otherwise, you have to apologize for being a liar so either you show me the fake hadith i showed you or you apologize say i am abdul from india i have no idea what i'm talking about i'm trying to copy zakar naik a brother editor Christian prince he did fake hadith and don't need to prove it to be wrong show me the fake hadith go ahead hmm. which, which hadith which hadith is fake okay uh, first, let me uh, let me expose you. You are not even. You uh, said you said no. You are. No. This is why. This is how we want you to expose us. You just said that. You said I'm using fake hadith. So tell me which hadith I use. It was fake. Let me expose you. I'm letting you expose me. This is why I'm asking you which hadith is fake. So all what you need to do say this hadith you showed us on the screen is fake. Which one? Okay. So first, let me check. Uh, Did you check? No. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Cairo here. Yeah, I'm right. We hear you from Cairo, brother. Alhamdulillah, right. Ramadan, Kareem, brother. Okay, where is the fake hadith? What? Hello, hello. You said I showed the fake hadith in the screen. Which one is the fake hadith? Uh, yeah, about, about the uh, breastfeeding verse. Okay, here we go. So finally, he said about, okay, let's see the breastfeeding uh, verse. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, what the hadith saying? Remind us. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you that uh, the breastfeeding verse is for the orphan children. For children? Okay. Orphan, orphans. 
Okay, ah, for the children. Uh, okay, okay. Well, here we go. This yeah. is this is the hadith. Okay, my friend, you are a very smart person. I will learn from you, and I, uh, I really, I'm really honored to speak to someone with your knowledge. You have a very powerful knowledge. Here we go. This is the hadith of Sahih Muslim, and this is Sahih. Now I can show it to you from Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim one four five three a. The Prophet said to the women, suckle him. She said. How I can suckle can I suckle him and he is a growing up man? See, this is uh, that that is what I told you uh, earlier. That this is a translation, and it is not an Arabic. no problem. Here we go. I will read it for you in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Read the Arabic. Forget about the translation. Translation is not true. Read the Arabic. By the way, translation made by you, Muslim. This is a Muslim website. This is Sunnah.com. So you are saying to me that you Muslim, you give false translation, shame on you, shame on you. I will call the Islamic police no, for you. I will ask Jibreel to cut your tail for lying to, to us in the translation. Now read for me in Arabic, as long as you claim the translation is false. Read for us the Arabic, here we go, it's in front of you. You should be a joker, you should not debate. Can only read the Arabic for me. You claim that the translation is fake. Here we go. The Arabic in the front of you. Read for me. I will highlight for you the line and you read it. Go ahead. Yeah, give me the reference of the reference. Read, you said to me the translation is wrong. Do you know Arabic? Read it in Arabic. It says, let me read it for you. Shut up. 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 فقال النبي فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أرضعي فقالت وكيف أرضعه وهو رجل كبير دينا وترجل كبير مين a growing up man how I'm going to breastfeed him and he's a growing up man your prophet he laughed at her when she said that look she said how I can suckle him and he's a growing up man the messenger smiled and he said I know I know he's a growing up man so what you are saying to me I'm lying why are you not showing me the reference? Are you scared or what? Oh, what do you mean show reference? I showed you Sahih, Sahih Muslim. The first thing I did, I said no, no, Sahih no, Muslim, no, Hadith number 1453A. Sahih Muslim 1453A. Wait, let me check. Hmm. Take, take, brother. I will post the link for you, brother, in the, in, the, in the chat so you can open it from there. Open it there. Here we go. I just posted it for you. Go ahead. Check it, check it. Hmm. By the way, I like this hadith. I like uh, breastfeeding, suckling, to be honest with you. Uh, actually, I applied to convert to Islam uh, because I want to do breastfeeding for adult. I'm adult, I'm qualified for that. I have lips too. And I want to practice it every day. I mean, I will, I will, I will do, I, not, I will I, do I, nothing in I, life I, after that I, date. I will, be on, I will be honest, you are not a debater, you are a joker, okay? Who, who is the joker? The joker is the one who said it's a fake hadith and now you are running away, you are biting your tail and you are running away from the accusation. Isn't it you who said to me, this is you a fake the, hadith? The, is, the, isn't, it you, the, isn't it you who said to me, it's a fake hadith? So who is the joker? The joker is the one who ordered your mama to give her nipples to Usama. But Usama is not the son of the mama, he is the neighbor. Who is the joker? How Usama, how Usama will suck the nipple of your mama? Explain to me. Usama been living in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, and now he been ordered by Allah Messenger to suck the nipple of your mama. Explain to me what's happening. Stop changing the topic and send me. I'm not topic. changing the topic. It's you who mentioned to me this hadith, guys. Isn't it him who said this is the hadith about breastfeeding for adults? It was only for kids. It's a fake hadith. I will expose your lies. It, and that we choose. We, I am not the one the who chose the topic. It was you. It, Abdul, it was you who chose it. It was you who chose this hadith, not me. Why you are now saying that you are changing the topic? Send me the reference on Skype. The reference is already there in the in the chat. Click in it. Here we go. It's in the chat. Everybody can see it. And we can give it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari. We can give it from, from any website, from any uh, uh, book you want. All of them, they agree that this is Sahih. 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 And you said that this is fake. Shame on you. Why you are saying it's fake? Are you saying your prophet is fake too? 
But let me tell you what happened, my friend. Because you are ashamed of your prophet, so you decide to say, this is cannot be my prophet. It have to be fake. For if this is true, that means my prophet is a perverted no, no, no. man. No, listen, 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 listen. The reality is that there were, uh, this hadith is compared by humans, right? It's not compared by God. So we cannot... Compare by, by, compare what? By what, what, what? I don't understand. Hold on. I don't understand. Compare by what? This hadith is compared by humans. Wait, the Quran is compared by human too. Isn't it the Quran compared by human? Who is Uthman? Is Uthman is God? What? No, no, no. Who is the one? Who is the one who collect the Quran? The Quran itself describe itself as a hadith. The Quran says the Quran is a hadith, and this is hadith. And here now we are saying that the one who collect the hadith no. is a human. But who is the one who collect the Quran? No, no. You are, you are, you are a joker. No problem. Okay, I'm a, okay. You can call me. You can call me all the names you want. But everybody is laughing at your prophet, not at me. Here we go. You are in the corner, and now you are the one who accuse me that this is a fake hadith. And you said to me, show me the reference. We showed the reference, and the reference even said this is Sahih. We show it to you from Sahih Muslim. We show it to you from Sahih Ibn Najah. So blah 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 blah. All Muslim agree is Sahih. Why you don't agree? Because you are ashamed of your prophet. Just face it. No, I'm not ashamed. That uh, the fact. Okay, is hold on, hold on. You know what? Hold on. I will change the topic just for your sake, just to help you. You are a proud Muslim. Can you prove to us? You see, we have 1,500 people watching right now. Can you show us one thing your prophet he said or did or the Quran? Prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet from God. Okay. Uh, see. Uh, the, uh, Muhammad followed the Abrahamic law. So, uh, so it is, so it proves that he is a prophet of God, right? Hmm. Okay, is the Abrahamic law is to give a breastfeeding for adult? Is the Abrahamic law to have sex with Aisha at the age no. of six? Is the Abrahamic listen, law listen, is the Abrahamic no, law is you to no, go is the no, Abrahamic no, law you go no, to your no, wife's no, son no, and it, you flirt with her? Is the Abrahamic law you say that Allah he order you to commit sin of adultery as he, he, he you must commit because this is a destiny? Is that Abrahamic law to kiss a black stone? Is that Abrahamic law to go and, and, and to, to bow down in front of the stones and to go around the stone? See, see, see you're not, you are not, not even letting me speak. You are, no, I'm letting you speak. You are the one who I ask you, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God? You said to me, he is following Abraham, but Abraham did not do anything of those shameful stuff. The, most, most of the thing you mentioned, it is from Hadith, it is not from Quran. What do you mean it's from Quran? Okay, hold on. It's not from Quran. Okay, hold on. Guys, it's not from the Quran. Let me ask you. If I am claiming to be a prophet now, and I say, any woman she want to give herself for me to sleep with her, is that from God or from me? What do you think? No, no, no. no. I, I, I know this verse. I saw this verse in one of the... No problem, no problem, Abdul. Listen, I want you to answer me. Be, be, be honest. I will, make a, I, will, I will make a statement saying, anyone she want to give herself to me... So I can sleep with her. Okay, is that from God or this is from me? Uh, listen, I saw this verse. Uh, uh, these, see, there were a lot of women who uh -huh. lost their husband on war. Okay, no problem. A lot of women right now, a lot of women in Iraq right now, they lost their husband. So I'm going to make a verse says, any women from Iraq, from Somalia, from Syria, from America, from Canada, who lost her husband, come to my door. This is my address. Knock it three times. If you have no panty, knock it twice. If you have panty, knock once. If you are ugly, so I will not open the door. I mean, okay. How that can be from God? I, I already told you you're a joker. What is your joker, your joker, joker? If they are a person who, they are women who they are widows, he should help them, support them without sleeping with them. Are you saying to me now, Muhammad, he was doing this because he want to sleep with all the women who lost their husband? He have thousands of men, they lost their husbands. See, uh, sleeping, sleeping with women, uh, women also desire to sleep, right? So ah, okay, I get you now. So you are saying those Muslim women, they are very horny. 
and they are very excited and the prophet he want to help them is it, it it's it called a sex charity <laughs> so muhammad he opened sex charity department any woman she is <clears throat> you know hot uh, you know you have a uh, heat so come to the prophet knock at his door and the prophet will do boom boom with you and this is only a privilege for the prophet is that correct So see Sorry. what? See what? Um, Why Allah He gave Muhammad the privilege is about about his penis. What kind of a privilege? Only the Prophet have the privilege. What about the Muslims? Why Allah did not say any woman she want to give herself to Abdul like you? He can have sex with her. You just say there's many women they lost their husband. So Muslim they can do that too. They can help in the mission. Why this privilege is only for the Prophet penis? Okay. They were not forced to do that. Women had their choice to sleep with the prophet. So, uh, my friend, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who is talking about about forcing or not? We are talking about what kind of a prophet he make verses privilege about his penis, saying any woman she can can give herself. What does that mean? The guy he have already thirteen wives. Why he need more women to offer themselves in the bed? What's wrong? This guy, he had no time to pray. He had no time to, to go in war. He had no time, but he had time. He had time to do boom, boom. Any woman she want to give herself. Why? What does this have to do with God? I already told you they lost their husband and they wanted to have a relationship okay. with Okay, if this is about the husband is die, if this is about the husband is dead, then the Prophet should make a verse for all Muslims. They can do that, not only him, but this was only a privilege to thee. Why it is a privilege only for Muhammad? Can Muhammad sleep? Okay, now we have more than a million women. They are widows in Iraq. Are you saying the Prophet, if he was there, he only is the one who can sleep with all those a million women. Is that possible? How many men they lost their life during the time of Muhammad, killing his enemies, going in war? Muhammad, you are saying to me that Muhammad made a verse saying See, any woman no, no, she no, want to sleep no, with no, the Prophet. No, no, different, different. Mm, listen, no, listen. No, different to me. You are making it like he uh, did some uh, something like terrorism. No. He fought for the uh, if he fought for God, you know. He wanted to establish two religion and all uh, because there was a lot of uh, pagan belief mm. uh, during the prophet's life, and, and he wanted them to follow the true God, the Abrahamic faith. So he uh, fought with them. You know, the pagans used to sacrifice their children and all like that. You Muslim, so you sacrifice children too. The, you uh, Muslim, you Muslim, you sacrifice children, don't you? Who said you sacrifice children? Okay, uh, if I show you the hadith, what you will say? I have a da'if hadith. Da'if hadith, what you will say? You will not accept it, right? You will say it's da'if hadith. No, no, it is not. See, thing is that yeah, the hadith is compared by humans. Hmm. Quran is the so now, the okay. Is, uh, so now, because it's compared by a human, so we don't, we don't accept it, right? No, no. See, you're twisting my word. I'm not saying we, we should not accept. It. I'm saying hmm. we okay. should accept it if it uh, matches with the Quran. Okay. Well, and here we go. Uh, okay. Actually, it's not a hadith. It's a Quran, chapter eighteen, verse number seventy-four. Your God, he ordered Prophet Al Khadr to slay, to slay a boy so he can be happy. Read it. And he is a Muslim boy. He is a Muslim boy. This is Quran. What now. is the point of this? And I'm not, I'm not getting it. Read it. Chapter 18, verse number 74. This is a Muslim boy. His parents are a Muslim family, and he is just little a little child. And the Prophet of Al Khadr, he, he, he did the order of Allah by. by by smashing his head in the wall and slashing his head by a knife and play billy ball with it. This is Quran now. What we will do? We will reject the Quran now. See. Uh, See what? I, See, Senor? I, I remember this verse. No, no, listen. Sir. Ah, okay, uh, listen. I remember this verse. You remember it? Eh? Boy will grow up and he will become a non-Muslim and he will kill the Muslim. Okay. I think. Oh, yeah. he when when he grow up, he will become non-Muslim and he will kill the Muslim. Show me where it says he will kill the Muslim. Show me where it says that. 
either you apologize for lying or you apologize for lying because nowhere it says that this guy will grow up and became not a Muslim to kill Muslim it says that he is the fear he might be a disbeliever he fear he did not become a Muslim not Muslim yet and he did not kill anyone and nowhere it says he will kill somebody show me where it says that no uh, the teacher said non-believer used to attack a Muslim so they are trying to defend themselves so Abdul, uh, what, I, what Muslim I, defend I, himself? I, I, this guy I, 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 is walking. To, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. This is not war. This guy is walking in a village. There's nobody war. There's no army. There's a kid praying with the poly ball with his uh, with the children his age. And then Al Khadr, he cut him and he slaughtered him and he cut his head and then he starts smashing his head with the wall. What war? This is a kid. And he's a Muslim. So why you sacrifice a Muslim child? And the excuse is you fear when he grow he will be not a good Muslim that's mean we need to kill all the bad Muslims before they grow according to Quran and that would be stupid there's millions and millions of Muslims today they don't believe in Allah they don't practice Islam so now what we what you are saying to me we in Islam we have to kill them when they are children and that is a children's sacrifice why you want to kill them they are your, your children. These are not the children of the enemy in the war. Those are your children. See, the, if, we, if we kill those children before they become non-Muslim, mm. they will go. They will go. They might go to heaven, right? My friend, if, hold on. They are Muslim. This is a, isn't it your prophet who says everyone is born as a Muslim, even a Christian child. What's wrong with you? So he, he is a Muslim already, and he is a, a child of believers. Read the read the Quran. You know the Quran. You claim that you know the, the 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 story. Read carefully. It says, "As for the boy, his parents were believers. What believers mean? They were Muslims, and we apprehended that he might impose upon that uh, 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 like in the time he will he will be not not a good person. He will be infidel. So how you kill a child?" Just because maybe when he grow up, he will be bad. Isn't it you Muslim you say, we should not, Allah will not judge you except by your sin? Where is the sin he did? He did not do anything. Even no, even no, Musa, no, he no, says, no, even Musa, he no, said no, to Al-Khadr, no, 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 even no, no, Musa no, says to no, Al-Khadr, no, you, you killed, you slain, hold on. No, Musa no, said, no, no, no. Hus, hus, hus. Musa said, has thou slain a person no, on a son? Uh, you are a coward. I know. No problem. You can call me any name you want, but you cannot answer. This person is called, described by Musa. He is an innocent child. Read it. So why he killed him? He did no. not commit any crime yet. Did he commit any crime? This child. Listen, listen. listen. Hmm. Uh, this. Uh, let, uh, let's let's say this child will grow up and he will become a non-Muslim, right? Okay. And yeah. And if and after becoming non-Muslim, after he died, then he will go to hell, right? Okay. So if he, if we kill him while he was a child, uh -huh. then he may he, he he might go to heaven. Ah, right. so we killed him, guys. This is Islamic solution. We will kill our children, so they will go to heaven. You see the intelligence, super intelligent. So your dad, he should kill you when you are six years old. So you can go to heaven, Abdul, because now you are not sure you will go to heaven or not. Have you ever heard of a stupid well, like this? Are, secondly, I, hold on. I, secondly, I, I, stupid I, Abdul. Listen, Abdul, listen. You, you have no idea you are talking to. You are talking to Christian Prince. Whatever you go, I will grab you from your tail. Isn't it your prophet? He says, even infant, he might go to hell. Yes or no? Yeah, I saw that word, but it was in Hadith. Go to Hadith. So, it says, Aisha, she said, Oh, this is a happiness for this child. He is a, he's a, he's a child of a Muslim family. He will be a bird amongst the birds of paradise. The Prophet said to her, Be an adventure, Aisha. Don't be stupid. It might be the other way. So, what you are saying to me, if we kill him as a child, he will go to heaven when it's not guaranteed. The Hadith in front of you. See, you are bringing me Hadith, and I already told you that it is compiled by humans. So we cannot trust it. You cannot trust it? No, we, we can. Uh, see, so why you call it, so why uh, you call it Sahih? If it's not trustworthy, why you Muslim you call it Sahih? So this hadith is fake, and you Muslim you call it Sahih? 
that is what I told you earlier. Mm, what you told that, me? Uh, what you told me? What you yeah, told me? Re remind me. I am not. Uh, you should, you should, no, uh, no, no. Tell me. Should, I, I, I forgot should, what you told me. Remind me, please. Please remind me. What? You're a prophet. Made it clear. You're a prophet. Made it clear. Secondly, secondly, do you have the right to kill a child who is a Muslim child before he commit a crime? Isn't it, this is against the teaching of Islam to kill a child he did not commit a crime yet? I thought that Allah He made an order to kill the one who killed, especially in the case of murder. The guy he did not do anything. How you punish him for not doing anything yet? He did not do anything yet. He's just a kid. If we go to the interpretation for the verse, you will see it says it clear. Hold on, listen. Up, up, uh, 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 hold on. Oh, no, no, I'm asking you how you can kill somebody, how you can punish somebody for a crime he did not commit. The mic is yours. First, give me the words, I will look it up. What? Give me the words. So all this time you are discussing with me, you do not know what verse we are talking about? Aren't you the one who told me? I know the verse? No, I, actually you are trying to twist some, something, so I want to make sure that you are not lying. Uh, I have it in the screen, chapter 18, verse number 71. And read verse number 71 and 72. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, waiting, waiting, waiting. By the way, you can call all the friends from Pakistan with you or from India. Call them, let them help you. Zakir Naik, he can help you. Let me call Zakir Naik until you read the verse. They take your time, no problem. Christopher Prince, hey, don't call me. Uh, uh, Zakir Naik, I have a, a Muslim from India. This guy, his wife, she's beating him now. What happened? He, he he's saying that the child he was killed. What's happening there? This guy is in zucchini zucchini there. Let, let me let me see. What you let me what? Did you find the answer? See, uh, as I can see, you try to twist some words. Hmm. Like what? Uh, what words? Which so which we twisted? No, no. So they they knew that he might become a non-Muslim. Mm. So, so what? If you if yeah. you wanna you 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 Muslim, you you keep saying to us, there's no conclusion in religion. Yeah, you, the Prophet he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, just to show you, just to show you how you Muslim you lie to us. Okay, let me ask you: If somebody leave Islam, should, should, if if somebody leave Islam, if somebody leave, is, if somebody leave Islam, if somebody leave Islam, shall you kill him? I knew you were trying to twist the word, so I expose you. How you expose me? People are laughing. Where you expose me? <laughs> Where? You just said he is going to leave Islam. So what? And how you know he will leave Islam? Secondly, shouldn't you punish him after he do the crime? And in the top of that, ain't you Muslim, you keep quoting for us the Quran saying there's no conclusion in religion. So now because the child he will leave Islam, you kill him even if he's a child? No, no, you 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 have been exposed. Let, let me prove you how you have, you have been exposed, right? Okay, go ahead. First, go ahead. you said that the, the child has not committed any crime, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, I I already told, uh, I as, as I have read the source, it, it tells that the child will become Muslim, non-Muslim, mm. and after after you know you know non-Muslim used to uh, uh, kill Muslims and mm. all. So Muslim, uh -huh. yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. So this child, he is a child of a Muslim family. Then in the future he will become not a Muslim, and then after he become a Muslim, he will kill his mama. This is what you are saying to me, right? He will kill his mama. No, no. What? No, no, no. no. What? No, 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 no. His parents are Muslims. His parents is Muslim. He's born of a Muslim family. He's a Muslim child. And now the child, even Moses, he said he is innocent. He did nothing. Read it. Moses said to him, "You slain. You slain a boy who commit nothing. Why you killed him? Why you slain a person who is innocent? He's innocent." So what kind of religion you are killing a child of your own and he is innocent 
And the excuse is maybe, maybe, even the verse says maybe, maybe when he grow up, he will be not no, a Muslim. Listen, 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 listen. No, 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 listen. Uh, you already know that non muslim used to partake in Muslims, right? Abdul, what Muslim? What are Muslim? This guy is a child in a village, and he is in a Muslim no, village, no, and no, the parents no, are Muslims. No, and now he is a playing. He is a playing with his football. He is a playing in his football. So imagine, hold on. Imagine you have a child, and he is a playing with the football in front of your house. And then a guy, his name Al Khadr, he walk by, he grab your child, he grab your child, he cut his head, and then he starts smashing his head on the wall. Justify that for me. What, what I am trying to say is, uh, see, non-Muslims non used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? Who? Hello. Hello, hello. Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? The Muslim used to what? Non-Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? Non-Muslim used to consider Muslim? What do you mean consider? Non-Muslim. Non non-Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Oh, the Muslims, they used to persecute non-Muslims too. The Muslims, it's about who is stronger. Muhammad himself, he did torture non-Muslims. He stole their money. He raped their wife. He took their caravan and he became the biggest gang in history. So if you are saying that they did persecute you, well, here we go. The follower of Jesus, he have a 12 of them. All of them, they've been slaughtered, killed, but they did not kill anyone. So what? Christians are persecuted until now in Pakistan, in India, and everywhere. Do we go after Muslims and we kill them? We don't. So what you are saying is a false excuse. Now we go back. This is a boy. He did not persecute anyone. He is born of a Muslim family. Give me a reason to kill him. See, si, Senor. He knew that he, 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 he will become non-Muslim. And after becoming non-Muslim... First of all, first of Muslim. all, first of all, you are a liar like your prophet. Nowhere it says he will become not a Muslim. It says we fear. We fear he might. Does it say that? Read it. Read, 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 read the it, translation. Read, I, verse, no, no. read verse number no, no. 8. Oh, no, 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 Abdul. My fingers, I have my five fingers over, your, over the bum of your prophet. And now they are over your bum. Show me where it says he left Islam. It says we fear he no, might... No, 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 no. He yes, might yes, <laughs> read it. It yes, says yes, it yes, says yes, he yes. he might leave Islam. <laughs> if you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. What translation you like? It says he might. We fear. We fear he might leave Islam. He did not leave Islam, and he is not sure. So now I can go to your house and kill your child, and I say to you, Oh, I fear he might leave Islam. <laughs> read carefully. Read carefully. Verse number eighty, chapter number eighteen says, As for the youth. His parents, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Where people of faith and we feared, we feared he would grieve them and abstain rebellion. You see? But he did not leave Islam. He, we fear, we fear, we fear, we fear. Do you know what we fear? The guy is guessing how in the world that can be from God. So now I can say, I fear that you, your child, will be a bad Muslim, so I kill him. Oh. Are you saying to me, are you uh, saying to me, if a Muslim now... Can you, can, you, can, you, can you give me one minute? Can you give me one minute? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Uh, mute your audio. Where are you mute your hello? audio? Hello, where are you going? No, what? no, I'm... I'm uh... I, I need to drink water, so give me one minute. Oh, you need to drink water? Water, hold on. Well, you're not allowed to drink water. It's Ramadan. What's wrong with you? Hello? Hello. One, one minute, one minute. Where, where are you going? Sir? First of all, you have to drink a you urine. Not, uh, you know, aren't you following the Prophet Sunnah? Why, can, why are you uh, water? What's happened to the camera urine? He's not drinking water, he's talking, you see, ah. talking to himself. Google, Google. Oh, he's asking his friend to Google, 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 Google. He said to me he would drink water, but he's Googling. Look, do you hear it? Google, Google, Google. Sunnah.com, Google. You see, he told me he won't drink water. The liar, you see, he muted me now, supposedly. I don't, I, he don't hear me. And he think we don't hear him. Stupid. He said he will go to drink water, but he is asking uh, somebody next to him. <laughs> 
कौन सा वर्स बोले समझ में नहीं आ रहा है <laughs> क्या <laughs> नहीं मिल रहा मेरे को यू आर ड्रिंक वाटर गोगो गोगो लेट अस मे मे अल्लाह हेल्प अस विद गोगो अरे तू You are a fraud uh, and you are a liar. We were hearing you, you idiot. You did not go to drink water. You were talking to the guy next to you, asking him to search Google, open Tafsir, open Snow.com. Why you lie? You said you yes, I drink water. This is how Muslim they are. This is how decent the Muslims are. We were hearing every word you were saying. You did not leave and you did not drink water and you were talking to the guy next to you. Why you are lying? See, listen. Uh, the uh, what what See, what senor, see, senor, senor, you are you are you are a fraud like your prophet. Why you lie to us, saying you want to drink water when the fact you are trying to search Google, asking your friend next to you to open tafsir.com and hadith.com. Your, your Shut up! Topic, right? No, I'm not changing the topic. It's you okay. who told me I want to I go and drink water. Why you lie to us? You did not drink water. See, see, this this thing has nothing to do with your topic, right? So why are you? Doing... I have nothing to do with the topic. <laughs> Call me tomorrow. I'm done for today with with Skype. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hold on, we are, we have a bus. A bus tried to call us. Let us see what a bus want to say. Abbas is a priceless, unless he's driving now. Usually Abbas, he drive when I talk or call him. <coughs> Hello, Say, hey, Abbas, how are you, my friend? I'm very well. No, long time no here, man. I, mean, I, I, I really miss you. What do you want to say to us, Abbas? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, uh, thanks for unblocking me. <coughs> um, yeah, you were just chatting with a gentleman earlier, mm -hmm. and you raise an important point, and you normally use a lot um, about this breastfeeding thing. Mm -hmm. Can I say something about that? Sure, sure. I? So, did you practice breastfeeding yourself, or you don't? Well, I'm not supposed to. Why? So why? Why, why not supposed to? Why? Are you saying your prophet is not a being a, a good person? No, that's why I'm going to explain. Uh, your okay. understanding is uh, twisted, uh, I, oh. I believe, and oh, yeah. that's why I'm going to try, try to prove in short. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first, first of all, you know that that particular hadith uh, about <laughs> Salim. <clears throat> this hadith um, has a counter hadith to that as well. All right. Uh, which is which is about Aisha explaining same thing to the wives of the Prophet. Mm. And you know what the wives said. What the wife, wife said? said to Aisha, 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 you are wrong. Hmm. It was only in the case of Salim and hmm. nobody else. Okay, can you, uh, Abbas, can you stop please and tell me what the wife of the Prophet was practicing at that moment? Nobody practicing, practicing anything. Aisha was suggesting them to do that. So, so, Aisha, so Aisha, she was not ordering, she was not ordering anyone want to enter upon her to go to her sister and her nieces so he can see her, right? She did, did she do That's that? Right. Hadith says that. Okay. So the hadith, hadith says, says okay. That, that so Aisha, the hadith is okay. suggesting that. So the hadith says that Aisha she was ordering her nieces and her sisters to give their breast to a stranger in case he want to go and see Aisha. Do you agree? That's right. I agree. Okay. And so why Aisha she was why Aisha she was doing that? You must have you claim that the oh, most Okay, you're a prophet he says khudu dinakum an hadhihi al-humayra. Take your religion from al-humayra. So you're a prophet now was wrong 
because he should not take it from Aisha, we should take it from the other wives. So look what you just did. You just admitted that your so prophet, your, your prophet, your prophet, prophet, your prophet made a mistake. Say it. Did your prophet make a mistake when he says take your religion from Aisha? Uh, sorry, can you hear me? I hear you. Did your prophet? Okay, because I, I'm trying to mute the, did, the did, YouTube. Sorry, okay. because I'm watching YouTube. Did your prophet? Did your prophet? Can you show me the hadith which says that about Omeira? Sure. They take we go. the religion from Aisha yeah. only and not from any other wives. All right, no problem. Let us see. Let me get you the hadith. Give me a second, okay. please. While you're looking for the hadith, can I make my point? No, no. Here we go. The hadith is in front of me. Mm -hmm. Let us see. <clears throat> is that the motta? It doesn't matter where it is. I mean, it's, it's going to make it a, a oh, different... No, 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 no. You, you know me. It matters to me where it comes from. So what, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? I am not going to justify a weak or, or non-authentic hadith. I'm not obliged to justify that. Okay, so what we would do I'm, now? I'm not, so, you know, so, so what we would do so with this what hadith? We gonna do, so what we would do with this hadith? Are we going to go through the source? Our yardstick is the Quran. Then come Mutawatir Hadith and Sunnah. Yeah, and then come the consensus of the Ummah. And then comes any other Hadith which is if it backs the Sahih Hadith in the Quran. Okay. So, so you can't just. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So when your Prophet he says, okay, when you Muslims, I can show you tons of videos made by Muslims. They say the Prophet he married Aisha because Allah inspired him that she have a great memory and she can preserve what the Prophet said. Do you agree with that or not? Uh, I will ask them that question. Where do you learn that from? Uh -huh. So now each time I say something to you, you say I'm going to go and ask. So why are you are calling me? No, no. But what are you saying? You you quoting some Muslim? Are we going to the sources? Aren't we? Are we going to the Quran and Sahih Hadith and Sunnah? Uh, uh, my, my, so you are telling okay, me some voice, some video. Okay, let, let, that? let me let me ask you. Do you accept only Sahih Hadith? Um, I I have number one. No 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 Hold on. As an example, you Muslim, you say the Prophet said there's no difference between the black and white. Is that Sahih Hadith? No difference between black and white. Yeah. Oh, you mean the last khutbah of Yes. Is that Sahih Hadith? I don't need a hadith to know that there's no It is not. No, you don't. You need to know. So why you lie to us, Muslim? You say this hadith, this hadith, this hadith when it's not sahih. So why when it why it, why the why the one is not sahih suddenly is accepted just to fool people? And now I'm asking you, when Aisha when Aisha she order her sisters to do breastfeeding for adult for others. Why why Muhammad? He did not tell Aisha, don't do that. Can you show me where Muhammad said to Aisha, you are wrong? Why the wives of the Prophet, they waited until Aisha, she's practicing this with everybody. And then after Muhammad, he died, suddenly those women, they have mouth to open. And how Aisha is wrong? And is, is, is she going to go to hell for practicing that? I'm going to make uh, two points here. I hope you give me a chance to speak. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, so you are just telling me right now, mm. you know Aisha better <laughs> than the wives of the Prophet who was with Aisha at that time. Mm. And the, well, you know Muhammad Sallallahu teaching more than the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mm. That's the first one. Because they rejected Aisha. They say, Aisha, no. Mm. You are wrong. That was only for Salim and nobody else. That's okay. the first, first point. Shall, shall we reject um, all the hadith from Aisha based on this? Because point, oh, hold, on, said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shall we reject the hadith of Aisha? Shall we reject the hadith of Aisha? Hold on. Shall we reject any practice of Aisha? Yes or no? Well, if we find a valid reason, yes, of course we can. Okay, fine. Give, give me a valid reason. Why Muhammad, he gave the women only a permission? Where in the hadith it says this is only permission for you? Can you show me? No, no, that, that hadith, what I'm talking about, the wife says to Aisha. Okay. You want me to show the hadith? This is, I know the hadith, and I will show it to you on the screen. This is not a question. You know that. This is not a question. Let me ask you, did Allah send the verse in the Quran? A verse in the Quran for breastfeeding for adult? There is no verse in the Quran for breastfeeding of the adult. But there's no verse, but did Allah send the verse? Nope, definitely not. What you're quoting is... Uh, um, you, 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 you're quoting the, the one the God ate the Quranic 
Mm. Quran. Is that what you're talking about? The goat in the Quran? Is that what you're talking about? Doesn't matter, the goat or not. We can show you the hadith where no, it says that Allah, Allah, talking... Allah, Allah, He sent. Here we go. This is a hadith and this is a Sahih hadith. It says that the Quran used to contain, it was sent down in the Quran, was sent down 10 known suckling, made marriage unlawful. Afterward, they were abrogated by five ones. So why are you are lying? Okay, sure. Can you put the hadith on? Here we go. I will put the I, I, I will send the hadith for you in the in the chat, and I will, I'm showing you the hadith in the screen, and I will show you more. This yeah. is just one. We will, we just started. Let us go to the second one. Hold on. 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 Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. okay. It was revealed May in the I Quran. It was revealed in the Quran that ten clear sakarin make marriage unlawful. Do you see it? And it was abrogated by five sakarin. This is Sahih Muslim. Are you going to say this is Zaif? Hadith number one no, no. four five two A. Let me read the hadith. Can you put on the screen, please? It's in the screen. Oh, the reporter, that it and I'm posting the link. You can open the, the Holy link. Quran. Mm. It had been revealed on the Holy Quran that the uh, mm. ten clear sucklings made the marriage unlawful. Mm. Then it was abrogated by five sucklings, and Allah Apostle Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was disappeared somehow. Okay. Okay. But, um, may I make my point here? Go my ahead. Understanding of it. Go ahead. Is it is that is that Sahih or weak? It's a Sahih Hadith, and okay. I'm not rejecting it. Okay, but a second ago, a second ago, you said to me, there's no such a thing came as Quran as a breastfeed for adult. Apologize for speaking without knowledge, my friend. May, may I uh, reply? No problem, but I want you to apologize because you said to me, there's no such a thing was in the Quran, sent as Quran, 10 time breastfeeding for adult. You said that, everybody heard you. Apologize, please. No, I'm, I'm answering you then. I'm answering you. No, 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 no. Uh, before you answer, before you answer, because you accuse me of lying, when you say there's no such a thing, it means either you telling the truth or I am telling the truth. So now, who is who was telling the truth? Is it Quran? Okay. Then breastfeeding or not? Say yes or no. When I say... No, when I said no, because you are implying that we're talking about adults, uh, the women going to give their breasts to adults. Well, this is for adults. This, this is for adults. This is for adults. No, this... Okay, hold on. This is not no, 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 I want you to show me, I want you to show me any verse saying that 10 time breastfeeding, it was not for adult. Do you have a proof? So you are not changing the topic. We're talking about the... We are not changing the topic. We are not, we are not changing... We are not changing the topic. We are not changing the topic. This is the same as Aisha, she said that 10 time breastfeeding eaten by the goat and it was for a breastfeeding for adult. Does it say? We are right now, did Aisha right say? Did Aisha, she say? Did Aisha, she say? Okay, if there is any place in the Quran we can find that 10 time breastfeeding for adult was, on, was for children, can you show me a verse? So you are saying which is authentic, Hadith of the Quran? Now you're changing. The I am not. I am saying the Quran is a fraud and the, the Hadith is a fraud. This is not my topic, my friend. I I am here to prove that both no. both are fraud. This is not a question. You said this is about the children. Can you show me the ten time breastfeeding for uh, for for the children in the Quran? I I don't know. What to say. You're not letting me speak, CP. This is the reason I. No no no. I'm letting, letting you speak. You I, but, you know, no, speak. this is the problem with you, Abbas. You call me always. You talk. You talk. You talk. You say nothing. You cannot do that with the Christian prince. Here we have to get. The, the juice of that conversation, not only make a conversation. So you said that this is 10 time, not for adult. Can you show me a reference? Every time I speak, you just, uh, just talk over me. So no, I no, no I'm not talking about, oh, I'm saying, can you show me a reference? Say yes and show me the reference. Okay. Okay. The reason when I said... No, 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 no. Don't give me a reason. See? Say I have reference. Say I have reference and show it. Go ahead. Say I have reference first. I uh, Otherwise, you, otherwise you, you are going to make. Otherwise, you are going to make a. No. Otherwise, you have. You are going to make a speech. Who are you to make a speech? Are you uh, Muhammad himself? Are you prophet of Islam? Oh. When you say something, either you speak with knowledge or shut up. So you say the ten time breastfeeding is not for adult. It's for childrens. Do you have a proof? 
I never said the word children. Where did you get that from? So it's for who then? No, I never used the word children. Why are you putting words so, in the mouth? So it's for who then? I said that... I said there is no verse in the Quran of ten suckling. Okay, but said, no, but I showed you the hadith. I showed you the hadith. It's sahih that there is ten time breastfeeding in the Quran verse. You said this is not was not for adult. You are the one who said that. Hmm. So the point you are making it either hadith is right or either Quran is right. That's what. The no, point no, is. both are right. Both are right. The Quran. It, it was in the Quran. It was in the Quran. How we can say it's not right? So, it was in the Quran, so and, your, the Quran. and your hadith confirmed that. And this is your prophet wife. If, if Imagine, guys, why Aisha who lived with Muhammad and Muslim, they take a lot of hadith from her. She is a very trustworthy person. She want to practice such a thing which is not lawful. That means she is a crazy woman. Do you dare to say Aisha she was a crazy woman? Asking me yes or no? I, I'm not allowed to speak. No, you see, no, it's person. not yes I'm or no. I want I references. Like you, you see, Abbas, you you speak, you talk too much. I am not interested in your opinion, my friend. I talk too you, much. No, you're not letting me speak. You are ashamed of your prophet. This is the whole story. Do you have a do you have a proof against what I showed you? Either you say yes, I have proof, or you say I'm going to give you a speech. So, Which one you choose? So I'm if you give me one minute to explain my position. No problem. Don't, don't right, explain. No, I don't want your position. I want a proof. Do you have a proof? The proof that that ten times suckling it was not only for that woman, and it's not in the Quran. You are the one who said to me it's not in the Quran. Can you show me single reference saying that never was in the Quran such a thing? CP, your misunderstanding need to be clarified. You are very much misunderstood person, so I need to mis a misunderstanding person. You just don't understand. Quran you are the one who called me. So you I are the one who called me, and from the beginning you said there is no such a thing in the Quran. Let us repeat it again. Was the ten times yes. suckling for adult? Was it in the Quran or not? Okay, there is no such thing in the Quran. That's why I'm still saying. No, no, no. Now, now there is no, no, no. There is no such a thing. So, was it in the? Was it before? Before the goat ate it? Was it there or not? Okay, that one is a. Uh, don't go to the goat ate. Her. That's not even authentic hadith. So don't go into that. Why? Who said? Who, who said not authentic? Who said that? Who is that? Who is the liar? Who said it's not authentic? Um, even the even the scholars say that. It's well, well, no. Here we go. It's in the front of you. The scholars they gave it a grade. Hold on. The scholar gave a grade. Hassan. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what Hassan mean? What Hassan mean? What Hassan is lower than Sahih. Do you know that? Do you agree uh, but that? But it's good. Hassan mean good, correct? Yeah, but not okay, so it's good. So why you are making it rotten? If the scholar they say, okay, Hassan mean it is approved, it passed. Not only it is good, it is higher than good. Hassan, there's nothing wrong with it. So your scholar they agree with it. So why you are saying why you are saying it's rejected hadith? Why you are lying? What is what is stopping it to be Sahih? Uh, educate me on that, please. My friend, Why is not Sahih and Hassan? Why? Uh, my, uh, my friend, I am sure in, uh, soon in, if you, in a few years from now, you all of you Muslims, you will agree that this hadith is not Sahih and not Hassan. It's garbage. We have to throw it away because Muslims through centuries, they are trying to filter the garbage of Muhammad. Even your, 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 your Sira book says in the beginning, anything will not sound suitable for the Prophet. We, we delete it. Imagine. They are saying that clearly. They did not. They were not honest. Anything. It's embarrassing for Muhammad. They throw it in the garbage. So this is after filtering, after filtering, after filtering all the filters. We got this, and soon actually, Erdogan he he asked for a conference just a few years ago, asking the Muslim around the world to dump all those hadith because they are embarrassing. They want to filter more. This is what you do. So now I'm asking you, do you why you call it Hassan if it is rejected? Is it rejected or Hassan? That means it's one level lower than Sahih. No so problem, guys. Read. One one level lower read. than. Look, hold on, hold on. Anyway, it is one level lower than, than Sahih. Okay, but does it Hassan mean is accepted or not? <laughs> it, it if it goes with the Quran, and with the hadith and so <laughs> my friend, what do you mean goes with the Quran? Uh, uh, you see the stupidity. Yeah. So Aisha, she was saying this, and Aisha, she practiced this, but Muhammad never said this. Are you going to ask me yes or no? Come on. Uh, I'm not asking yes or no. Can't do that. Did Aisha you order? Did Aisha order? Position. Did Aisha order her family, females, 
to do breastfeeding for anyone want to enter upon her did she and you said yes, yes okay so Aisha when she did yes, that why the Muslims okay why the, why the Muslims why the Muslims not the wife of Muhammad why the Muslim did not shout and say to her shame on you did the Umar al-Khattab say shame on you did Uthman say shame on you did Ali say shame awesome. on you okay show me one of them how she do such a stupid thing she is because this is if if this is not uh, if this is haram that mean Aisha she is really making something very bad she is asking women to give their boobs to a strange man and you Muslim witnessing that and you don't say to Aisha shame on you and the only one who said that is the wife they said we will not do that because they have dignity Aisha she don't this is the this is the problem CP you have to let me speak otherwise I'll, it's better I just listen to you as you're talking because you're not giving me I'm, chance I'm, I'm letting you speak if you have a proof or reference do you have any you are not I am just telling you you have to understand Islam holistically you can't just pick it how up. holistically okay holistically. hold on hold on hold on when your prophet he said to the women give him your boobs and she said he is adult what your prophet was doing may I go ahead. Am I allowed to speak? okay go ahead okay thank mm. you and the same prophet told Aisha mm. the when she there was a man in her room and she say he is my foster brother and Prophet says, a fostrage is only uh, from hunger, hmm. meaning only if it's a baby, then he will, if he drank the milk of the same woman as you did, as a baby, hmm. then he's your brother, meaning he's indicating that this breast, breast suckling cannot be possible if you are over the age of uh, as a as a child. Okay. When you are, you, okay. So when you drink milk as a so why uh, hunger and not so why he reason, ordered the adult woman? Why he order? Hold on. So why he ordered the adult woman to give her boobs to the adult man? Now that's right. That's that's a very good point. Now mm. now we come back to the point of Salim. Mm. Situation of Salim was unique. Mm. Why? Because this couple. They had him little as a child since he was a child. He, they adopted him mm. as a child. Mm. So he was their like son, mm. known, known to them, known to the house. Mm. So that situation, situation was unique. And that's exactly what the wives of the Prophet was telling Aisha. His situation was unique. It was only for him. Okay, so I'll yes, go with he you. was as a grown up young man at that Okay, time, I will go with you. The man, the man as now, hold on. Of, okay, uh, Abbas. So now let us say you adopted a child in your house. And now he is growing in my age. I'm 18 years old. And now you order your wife to give me her boobs. What that would do? Why you say eighteen? It says a growing Why man. The hadith says no. It says a growing man. The hadith says he is a growing man. And in those days, growing man, man, the one who has puberty. Hold on. No problem. A growing man is a growing man. Don't stop lying. It doesn't say the grown age. Man, yeah, right. It says a growing man. So he is a man. So now the question is: Grown. What that will do? The man now is a growing man. What that will do to the relationship between the, the wife of the man and that man who live in the house? Who is a stranger? Dad, he, is the, he is the child of the house. He's like the adopted son. Doesn't matter. So okay, has, hold on. First of all, that, it's forbidden. That, that, First of all, it's forbidden to adopt children in Islam. Secondly, what have to do, even if I adopt a son? Why my wife now the husband have a jealousy the man is already upset because there's a, a person you see This is a proof that lies Muslim. They say to us if this person consider as a son Why the husband is jealous from him? I see in his face Karaha. He is upset from seeing this man in the house. So what the solution is Give him your boobs. Okay. Now I'm asking you after the women she gave the boobs of her boobs to this growing man What happened according to Islam? Okay, so uh, this husband was jealous. It was his prerogative. He, he was jealous. Not everybody would be jealous as well, but he was. Mm -hmm. So solution, solution for that mm -hmm. was since he was your child, mm -hmm. he think you like as a mother, but just feed him, uh, give him your breast. I'm, and I'm not saying he was 18. You saying he's 18? Yes. It's possible that he was 13 or 14, mm -hmm. and some beard came out of, or some hair of beard come out. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. his unique situation, it was given. So that that was that was appropriate for that because that he was there like their child. Okay. It was not so, that as, all, as okay, okay, like hold on, hold on, hold on. Go. He is already like their child. So what after she gave her her breast to the man, what happened exactly? Nothing happened. She's still a stranger. According to Islamic no. scholars, I can show you the reference. According to Islamic scholars, 
Breastfeeding for adult does not forbid the man from marrying the women. Yes or no? What? According to there Islamic scholars, Sunni scholars, hold on. According to Islamic scholars, doing breastfeeding for adult will not forbid the man who you did the breastfeeding for him to marry the women who breastfeed from her. Because only in, in, a, in a young age, that will be forbidden for the man to marry this woman. But if he did do it later, that will not be considered forbidden. So what's the purpose of this? So according to you, what you said, Sunni scholars said, if any man do a breastfeeding to any stranger woman, they can still get married. That's what you're saying? They can, they can still marry, yes. According to that Sunni scholar? Yes. Did that Sunni scholar was giving any references? Sure. About that? Okay. Uh, was, was he giving any reference that this is how it is? Even if you bet circle, you still can get married. Okay. What was the reference he was quoting? Okay, let us. See. I would have asked him that question. And you see, I'm not only asking questions to non-Muslims. I even when I go to Imam, I spoke to Imam. I really put them to the to the to the task and I ask them questions. I don't just believe because somebody's saying that. I will really ask them the question where they're getting their authority from. And I know many Muslim scholars. Uh, they make up things as well, or they can be wrong, they be sincere, but wrong. But we have to go back to the sources. All right, now, friend, I, Abbas, I, I, I Abbas, can, Abbas, 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 let, let, us, let us now to waste time. Here we go. I will show the fatwa in the front of the screen. The fatwa is in Arabic, but I'm going to use Google Translation if you don't mind. And I can post the link. No, just tell me the reference. Tell me the reference he gave. Fatwa, uh, no, no, I will show it on the screen. Question. I will show it on the screen. Here we go. You can search it yourself. Fatwa number 391, sorry, is, is 01. Rida'u al-kabir la yuharrim. The title is, Adult Breastfeeding for Adult Will Not Make It Forbidden. Here we go. The question I'm going to translate. Here it says Indonesian. I will choose English later. Give me a second. All right. And let me... I can't see anything on screen. Well, the screen is shown. Okay. It's shown for everybody. But let me change the translation. The title is... Okay, okay. I can the title, see it the, the title is so clear. It says in Arabic, that breastfeeding for adult will not make make that forbidden for the person. This is the title. And this is the fatwa number in front of you. And the question is, let me change to English first. Here, uh, change to English, uh, choose another language. Uh, English. Just, show, just show me the source he's using. My friend, what just wait, have patient, have patient, have, have, have patient. Okay, uh, uh, you see that translation of Google is stupid. It says big breastfeeding not, is not uh, forbidden. <laughs> It's adult breastfeeding, will not forbid. Okay, is an adult man, yeah. read carefully the question. Is an adult man forbidden if he breastfeed of a woman? This is the question. The answer, simple, no. No. And you can read all the answers with the reference. The answer, no. So what is the purpose of Muhammad ordering the women to do breastfeeding for someone? He still he can have sex with her. Okay, I think you misunderstood me what I said. Uh, if I were in front of him, that man who said no, I would just ask him very kindly, Ya Sheikh, can you just tell me the reference you're quoting from? My friend, my, fr from? my no friend, answer, no my friend, away. the Quran, you are the one who gave me the answer. Aren't you the one who says to me, breastfeeding only forbidden for children? You, you are the one who gave reference. So what's wrong with you? So Is it you okay, who said to me, you. Abbas, listen to me, I don't like children talking to me. Either you get, grow up and be mature. It is you who quote for me, saying that all the children best breastfeeding will make it forbidden. Did you say that to me or no? So you see, I just bust that shit. No, you business. busted yourself. You busted your prophet. You busted your prophet. So why your prophet ordered the women to give her boobs? If only breastfeeding for a child, hold on. If only breastfeeding for a child will make the child forbidden for the women from having sex with her. What is the purpose of ordering a growing man? And the woman, by the way, she's an old woman. She doesn't have milk. He was sucking in what? CP, with respect, you keep talking about growing man and you're not behaving like one. Please be, be, behave like one. You behave That's like one. You, I, I'm asking you. Don't ask the sheikh now. Ask yourself. You are the sheikh now. You are the, the only sheikh we have. When the sheikh, he said that, he is using the same reason you used. He agreed with you, which means you should be smarter than this. Are you saying he's wrong now? He's agreeing with you that the only thing will forbid marriage if you divorced him for a child. So the question is, 
Why your prophet then he ordered the women to give her boobs to a stranger? So that, that guy was the adopted child. So what? In Islam there is no adoption. Situation. Still he can marry her. Still he can have sex with her. He, in Islam this okay. is not allowed. Adoption is not considered as a child. There's a verse in the Quran about it. So what is the purpose of ordering a woman to give her a breast to a stranger if that will not stop him from having sex with her? You see, when the wives of um, uh, Aisha's, um, I mean, our wives of the Prophet, they challenged Aisha that there was a unique situation. That was my first point. And second point, back that first point. Your second was, point, my friend. Your Lord. second point is no point. Lord. I'm asking you, why? Why? Don't go in circle. If this is a woman, she's still lawful for this child to have sex with her, for this man. Still, he can marry her. Still, he can sleep with her. So, what the purpose of giving her boobs? This is the question. I'm going to answer all your questions, but you're not giving me chance. Bro. No, you are not answering. You are going in circles since you call me. If he, if I she is, not. if she, okay. So let me let me repeat the question for the last time, please. She is still lawful for him. You are the one who said to me, who said that? I showed you the fatwa. She is still lawful for him. He can marry her. He can have sex with her. He can sleep with her. It is lawful for him. So what was the purpose of him ordering the women, Muhammad, ordering the women to give her books? I'm listening. Go ahead. Not women. Woman. One woman. One woman. Not women. Don't say women. It was just one woman. Oh. She's the one. Okay. That bad boy always mm. think of her as a mother. She always think of his son. But it's the husband who has a little bit thing in him for his sake, not that they're going to get married. My for friend, his sake, this is not the question. This is, is not child. the question. He, he, this is not the question. If this is will not forbid the child from ha the, the man from being lawful for for this woman, what this will do for sake? What is that? Are we doing lab test? So now I order the women because to give her. No, no, hold on. Look what you did. So you are saying to me, Abbas, with my respect to your wife. If you have somebody in your house and he's a driver for you and he grew up since as, as a childhood and you are the one, your wife, she is the one who asked your prophet. She said to him, okay, let him suck on your boobs. So now you, you, if you see that driver, taxi driver who you adopt as a son, like you say, suckling your wife boobs with my respect to her, for you, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay for you. If, that, if he was a young man, the, like 13 year old boy and he was a child from the beginning and if prophet orders that <laughs> take care Abbas take care it was nice talking to you I really miss talking to you <laughs> unbelievable oh boy and you know the funny Allah will send the verse in the Quran just for one woman one woman only that woman. <laughs> All the verses by the Quran, by the way, it happened because it was an incident about one person said something. So if we go by your skill, that means everything Muhammad he said, it was only for one person. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do here. And by the way, we might go live on air later today if I can. I'm really busy today, but I will try. We have another account. It's called The Quality of Life. If you like to join us, maybe the admin can post a link. Uh, there we speak about different topics have nothing to do with Islam. If you have a topic you'd like me to speak about, we will be happy to discuss it. As you see, we feel sorry for Muslims. They have no idea what they are talking about. They are just desperately trying to defend a religion which nobody can defend. Islam not only a fraud, Islam is a stupid religion, literally, made by a fool for the fool. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? As simple as that. How a human being can be convinced that there's a God will make his penis endless? How a human being can believe that there's a God, he, will give, he promised me women with big boobs? How a human being believe in all the stories of Muhammad? Shaitan will fart when you pray. Shaitan, he put his 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 uh, his his fingers and he go inside your in your anus. Shaitan, he rub himself around your penis. Shaitan, Shaitan, Shaitan will sleep in your ears. He will piss in your ears. He will sleep in your nose. When you do yani, Shaitan, he jump in your mouth. Who is going to believe in this garbage? If a fool like Muhammad was able to fool you, how fool are you?
Wake up. Wake up. We are in the year 2020. How in the world someone can be followed like Muhammad? The women, she don't even have milk. Suckling what exactly? And how that will stop a man from being thinking about a woman? Since when, if a woman, she gave her breast to a stranger, that will make him behave? I want all Muslims to practice that. And Aisha, she practiced that. And none of the Muslims oppose her. Real Muslims, not the wife. The, the Aisha, she is the most powerful wife of between between the wives. The rest are just names. The one is in control. Her father is the caliphate. How come her father did not say to her, shame on you? You are ordering your nieces and your sisters to give their boobs to strangers. And I am Abu Bakr watching. This is what you are saying to me. Abu Bakr was watching his nieces, his, his daughters, the sisters of Aisha, giving their nipples to strange men. And he did not oppose it. This is what you are saying. Aisha in control. Aisha, she made a new Islam now, according to you. The answer is very simple. They are ashamed of the stupidity of their prophet. So they try to fabricate answers and the answers always come shallow and silly and stupid. Thank you very much for watching and join us. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and don't forget to download my videos. They are for free and I don't keep them in my channel. Including Muslims, feel free to download them, including Abbas and including the guy who is calling from India. Please download the video, put it in your channel so we'll be proud about how you got me busted. This is a Christian Prince with you. And I pray to the Lord that the love of Christ will be shared with all Muslims. We love them and we will never hate them. We are not against the Muslims. We are against cult, liars, fraud, who take advantage of people so they can fool them. And that is Muhammad and whoever like Muhammad. Be aware of false teachers. Be aware of false teachers who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but in fact they are wolves. That is the word of the Lord. And he loved the Muslims. He loved them. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. We love the Muslims. And we should always love them. No matter what we argue about, we are fighting about, there is no hate should be involved. Even if Muhammad taught them to hate us, we will not be the same as Muhammad. We will not fall in the trap of Muhammad. Thank you very much for being here. Subscribe, join us, tell your friends, and may the Lord bless you all. Happy Sunday, everybody. Take care.